episode of Speakers of Heidelin is made possible by our generous patrons. Special thanks to our supreme and master speakers, Omage Cat Comet, Erisu Yamakawa, Alex Franco AV, Winebow Brood, Aurora Templeton, Psyche, Azuta Starbreeze, Cletus Oreo, Nina Grimstar, Lily Black, Bob CC, Mikta Rabentau, Anathus Moonscar, Pamela Isley, Elenreal Maximus, Codrith Novelist, Mira Miri, Celesto Nautrell, Lazy Boy, Luke Osborne, Pandalu Stormarrow, Tex, Kai Lin, Arthur Law, Buried Anderard, Cypup, Spencer Christmas, Celine Deloon, Edwin, Woobster Wolf, Severa, Zirka Barakil, Kazran, Ventos Tia, Ryark Forbear, Late in the House, Tony, Arcadia Lunashine, Framboise Zachero, Bergy, Fudge, Zephiel, Cafe, and Gregorium Cartus. Get early access to audio and video versions of the show, including the post show, by supporting us at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. Thank you. Welcome to Speakers of Fidelin, episode uh, 408. I'm Lakeel Bravestone, and I'm joined today by Georgi Wiston, Mela Vanadar, and Rollo Des. Uh, Hello. Hey. Hello. It's, it's here. Soy boys. Us. <laughs> yeah. That's us. Welcome <laughs> to uh, the 408th episode of Speakers of Fidelin, and we are just I, uh, in a Dawn Trail world now. It's happened. Dawn Trail is here, and we're obviously going to talk about that um, today. Do not worry. Wherever you are in the MSQ, we're not going to talk about the MSQ. We're not going to talk about anything that has any spoilers in it whatsoever. Um, mm -hmm. We are uh, we're just going to talk about first impressions and stuff. But also, we're going to go through a lot of the issues that people have had. Uh, Don't Trail has had some issues. I will say, smooth login. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, some have not had smooth logins. That I guess that's the part of the problem. Uh, okay. Uh, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about. Um, uh, we'll read the patch notes as well. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, there's that. There's not going to be any mug melt today because of what we're discussing, and also because some people might uh, want to send us stuff that has spoilers in them. So obviously that's why I'm not even opening the yeah. mug mail inbox mm -hmm. because of that. So uh, there you go. Uh, stay tuned for the post show. Uh, if there is one, we'll see how long we go today. Um, if we do go to the post show. I don't know if there are any questions from the syndicate this week. I haven't actually checked to, uh, the the Discord, but um, if there are, there'll, there'll be... There aren't any. Okay, no. there you go. So it'll just be uh, the... We have a very long chapter on that. Uh, oh, yeah. Titanic fan fiction mm. that we do on the post show as well. Nope. So there's that to look uh, forward to, uh, I guess, um, if we do it. Uh, all right. Um... Anything else we wanted to say before we uh, move on? I don't think so. I feel like there was something I should have put in here, but I'll remember it in the middle of the show and derail mm -hmm. us and say it. So mm -hmm. uh, look forward to that. All right, it's time for recent... Wait, is it time for recent event? Let me make sure that yeah. we have audio set up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's time for recent events. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Well, we'll start off with something that um, surfaced um, just before Dawn Trail released, and that's the Board of Terralism, <laughs> uh, the Board of Terralism <laughs> ad campaign uh, with Riz Darby in it, which is very strange. Um, yeah, that's great. It's very good. I just it, we it's all too late. questioned Why they released it so late the day before. What, well. Well, this is more for people. I mean, I suppose there we are people... think of early access as the release, but it isn't. I suppose that's a good. Thing. Yeah, it's true. And also, they're they're trying to pull in people during the whole launch window. Yeah. Like they don't necessarily need everyone there. On in fact, they'd probably prefer less people on yeah. launch day, and then just like more people gradually uh, coming in as during the first patch cycle. 
Mm. Yes. True. Yes. Um, there's a whole website with lots of like fun little uh, stuff and Easter eggs and whatnot. It's uh, at tortural.finalfantasy14.com. I think there's a shorter link. I don't remember what their like promotional link is right now, but um, it is it is out there. Um, Just continuing the weird history of live action trailers for 14. Mm -hmm. The last this is one of the, the better one. ones. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's more effort. The yeah. last one was the um, free trial one with the Dragoon and the curly-haired lady. Oh, I, yeah. Didn't like that. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah. I like that. It was still weird. It Wasn't was. the last one the one where they were cosplaying? Like, a, a around a fire and talking about, yeah. like, wow, what's it? Oh, yeah. Like, that's, oh, that okay. was a different I think that, one. It, uh, that was a, yeah. yeah, that was that's the most recent They've one. They've never really... They've never really captured the magic of Aortia. They have <laughs> <laughs> the original Realm Reborn that one. one was so good. That one's awful. Of course, the um, Tom Holland one too, and oh, Hannibal yeah. Burris for some reason. Yeah, it was. I don't Hannibal get the Hannibal <laughs> Burris part. Why he was there, but that. Sure, why yeah. not? Why not? Um, yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh, they've they've had some. They spend a lot of money on these ad campaigns, but they sort of always come out of nowhere. It's like okay, well, mm. well mm. there it is. Um, and this was this is the I one mean, for Dawn Trail. How often are ad campaigns like foreshadowed though? No, I like, guess I mean it I guess... just feels special to us because this is our game. Yeah. But like I feel like if you look at any random product, most ad campaigns come out of nowhere. No, you're right. That's true. It, it's yeah, it's just weird to see it's mm. like so main like a mainstream actor. Like it's just mm. it's, mm -hmm. it's odd. It's an yeah, MMO. he's like he he tries to do. I feel bad. He tries to do like I think one of the Manderville dances, and he just. Oh, he, does he doesn't weird, do it right. <laughs> yeah, the weird like hands on his hips thing. Very strange. He's not doing it right, sadly. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. I love you, Restarm. You're very fun. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's uh, that's uh, the ad campaign. That's the going fake on. merch on the website is great. Oh, I wish it was, I wish it was real. real. Oh, yeah. Please make it real. The, match. the fucking hat with the... Uh, I don't even remember what it says anymore, but it was so good. It was like, I'm here for tacos. Some come for adventure. I'm here for tacos. Is that the one you were thinking yes, about? Yes, I need that yeah. hat, please. <laughs> I want the baby mom will jaw postcard oh, about being yes. left at the airport. It's yes. so good. Yes. Number one baby mom will jaw stand right here, by the way. <laughs> we, we we love the baby mom will jaw. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, it's time to talk about all the issues that have uh, uh, occurred during Dawn Trail Early Access. Now, remember, that's, this is what Early Access is for. It's to iron out all the kinks. Um, I will say, though, let's start with number, like, launch day. Pretty fucking smooth for me. Uh, no, mm -hmm. there was, Mela uh, had issues. I mean, Mela. I got 5k'd crashed. and it ruined, ruined yeah. that first bit. Because I got it, like, bef I think, like, before 10. Yeah. Like, within, like, the first few seconds. Mm -hmm. And I think it maybe it didn't like that I'd gone into the game <laughs> at that point. So it was like, well, uh, I'm 5k you out. Yeah. And then I got into 2k key. Right. Right. Yeah, but, but it won't Lakeel, Lakeel and I had a seamless uh, yes. login to the game. Mm -hmm. Yes, very low queue time as well. I was with we we were quite lucky. I think we were up below. I mean, mm. I was like two hundred. Gary three hundred. You, yeah, you were in the first two hundred. I was in the first three hundred. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, it's I already dropped though. I got there because so it was like five a.m. my time. Uh, it started started at like five fifteen. It was like not even a thirty minute wait. Right. Yeah, mine was. It, it was like a two thousand like, person. Yeah, mine was two thousand. But... It was like thirty minutes to get through that. Yeah. But then this morning, it was like a forty person queue. Right. Yeah, just just like N Walker, in my experience, mm -hmm. it is the long ass queue for the first hour of early access. After that, it's like it's been less than twenty people every single time, mm -hmm. and I've been logging mm -hmm. in and out all day mm -hmm. at peak. And sometimes I even just get straight in. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, very good. He he did say they had uh, upgraded their uh, their login systems or whatever the servers. I can tell. We yeah. are in peak like logging in at peak hours, and you have like mm -hmm. forty people in queue. Crazy. You uh, don't have to go to Australia. Don't listen no, to him. <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, they even, or shadow or whatever. <laughs> they have even opened up cross world travel earlier than we expected yeah. so you can travel like you know, on um light and chaos you can cross travel now i i see wanderers and travelers on ragnarok which we mm. were told was not going to be possible 
So it, yeah, they open it and close it. Like it keeps there's yeah. windows now. Uh, but the Just windows down. are like I've seen travelers during peak hours. Like I was doing, um, like I was just doing content at like four p.m. and there was just a wanderer, just walking around. I'm like, okay, you got in here. Yeah. Good, good on you. Unless they came in during like four a.m. I, I don't know, but it just shows how like stable everything is, like in that sense. However, uh, there was an issue that has again. Um, Mela is probably feeling very justified again for this fear. <laughs> They will um, never yes. do this now. No. Ever. Well, no. you know, I, I, I mean, they warned you. <laughs> we warned they you. Did. And surely my years of fear mongering has got to someone. Yeah. you. Mela is in his Pulaski uh, hating teleporter <laughs> yes. in Star Trek. Yes. Uh, I am. So the. Um, yeah, the. the we, we, we talked about it last week that there was. Uh, they, they urged you to travel back home before the release of the expansion and of course not everyone did um and so people but surely were the people who kill who who didn't heed their warnings weren't like weren't whining about it and blaming anyone else for what they did because, right i mean they were advanced warned yeah they, they were and quite extensively as well it was very like they were like please return home there is there's gonna be congestion um, and as expected, people got stuck, and technical difficulties kept them stuck in the ether. Um, that was resolved. Yeah, go ironically, on. where they were headed. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So, uh, characters within the North American European data centers using the data center travel feature could not return home when using the return to home world feature. So weird of you to sit there and wait for the expansion to launch and then go, mm, maybe I want to go home right now. I want to go home now, actually. I'm la Yeah, you told me to do it before. No, I'm doing it now. Uh, well, you couldn't for a long time. Uh, and then it was sorted at, well, I say long time. 6.48 a.m. is when uh, it was resolved. PDT. Yeah, PDT. It, was, it was like less than... <laughs> Three hours, I think, or yeah, so. Right. It was, yeah, around. Oh yeah, but uh, it wasn't it even that. Bad. Well, according to this schedule, is exactly four hours and forty-eight minutes, right? Four hours, yeah, forty-eight but, minutes. But boy, did people start doom posting! And Holy like, hell! Immediately, oh they were so angry. Oh, the yeah. main dawn trail <laughs> is ruined for me. Yeah. I took off of work. I have never felt less sympathy for a person for yeah. people in my whole life. You absolute it four tits. hours. They told yeah, but also they fucking told you, and you should have yeah. known. Why are you mm. like this? Uh, one, I won't yeah. blame people that are not in the loop. Like if okay, you are your sure. your your yeah. coworker who maybe played like every expansion or every other expansion. He just visited a friend that was last logged in, and then he was gonna go back and you know this one. Sure. Yeah. He didn't know. He didn't. That's know. true. Everyone That's else, true. if you post on Reddit, you probably you watch do. enough to know. Yeah, it's mm. posted in many places. So everyone who was angry and angry. posted on the subreddit and Twitter, you should have known. And yeah, you get no sympathy. I'm sorry. You were saying some crazy things. Yeah, yeah. For what was um, <laughs> an issue of your own making? Yeah. It's not. It's, it wasn't even that bad. <laughs> No, no, it ain't that bad. No, resolved within four, like almost five hours. It also, was not Robot Extreme Two, right? No, <laughs> no, gosh. it was not. Some people really wanted it to be though. Um, so the cause was a server setting issue, and it affected NA and European data centers, uh, which is interesting. Not JP, but maybe that they didn't put that in there because all of JP actually <laughs> returned to their home worlds as they. Were <laughs> um, all right, so uh, there we go. Uh, oh, I've put this in twice, which is uh, just to emphasize. Uh, in different styles as yeah, well. One yeah. of them is highlighted and one of them is not. Spice it up a little. <laughs> um, okay, anyway. So then there were login issues. And Yoshi P uh, has... Uh, so this is a little This is messy. from the Twitter. Okay, so this, this is, is all from, from the Twitter. Twitter directly. So this is why he had to say at the start, this is Naoki Yoshida. Yeah. 
This is Naoki Yoshida. We're currently ensuring the stability of the login server. This is all happening. This is day one stuff, by the way. Mm -hmm. We are currently uh, ensuring the stability of the login server, and logins are being processed in order. While the login server is busy, we can confirm that queues are progressing smoothly. Thank you for your patience. To avoid the login server from going down due to extreme load conditions, player may receive a 2002 error message when logging in. Should this occur, please try logging in again. So, yeah, there you go. That was... Login it's, was pretty... That's pretty what happened to you, isn't it, Mela? I like got a 5k. Oh, you got 5k. Because I, okay. I got into the game to character select or whatever, mm. and then got kicked out. And then I was stuck in launcher login hell because the launcher... Oh, had yeah. so many login issues rather than mm. the game itself it was right. it was all on the launcher okay uh and then there were three uh issues that were also posted on twitter uh this one i got this first one we have identified an issue where the currency element in the hud layout is shown black if it was set to allegan tombstone of comedy prior to patch 7.0 and i for a second i thought okay my graphics card which has always been a little buggy is like okay it's dying now. Like there's literally like a huge black square in the like on the bottom right of my screen. Um, but only in fourteen, the pixels die in fourteen. And I, and I clicked, <laughs> and then I realized, like I was like, oh, I moved my mouse over it, and I'm like, wait, my mouse is still there when it's over the black box, so it can't be a graphical issue. Uh, and I uh, clicked it. And you can hear the clicking sound. But even if mm. you clicked it to change the currency that was showing, it didn't go away. So you had to See, open the currency window once so that it would just like uh, refresh and disappear from the list It of still has not gone away from... I have the same issue as you too with that thing. Uh, but one, I'd never had it set on the uh, Tombstone of Comedy thing before mm. the expansion. Definitely did not. <laughs> right. Uh, and it was... I tried refreshing it too. I mean, it's, it's just fades still like that. So I, I mean, it's probably explained by the next issue that we're going to go to. Well, did you yeah. did you uh, did you open the currency window and click the little cog? Yeah. Oh, you did all that, mm -hmm. and it's still there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's. Uh... I mean, I'll, oh, I might try it again today. But yeah, I, I tried all that. It was just still there. So it's very. I just I took it off the screen. I didn't want to see oh, any of the little black thing in the corner. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Maybe hmm, they'll probably release a patch or something soon. There will be a patch. Um, known uh, so in known issue number two, other characters or parts of the UI, UI may appear black or not be displayed properly. Please check the graphics card and display settings on your PC, or try closing other applications before playing. Yeah, close your twenty six tabs, Rollo. Yeah, yeah. Not the tab haver, Georgi. No, yeah, you up. can't speak. That's, yeah, you that's why I said it as a joke, because I wasn't Ow. affected by this issue. Georgi, Georgi is like, I get stressed when I see people have like six tabs open. Like if they have six tabs. Six? They're, they're showing me, okay, that's... ten tabs. If I see they, ha they have ten tabs open and they're showing me like one thing on a, one of the tabs, I get stressed. Georgi will have mm. like... 50 tabs and they're all like this size because you know you you can't see the yeah, title of them good. anymore yeah, how's know. that even usable no i, I, like, I don't know. About, like 10 tabs so i can read what they were on yeah i have about 30 tabs open on firefox right now and then i have a separate window for um uh, chrome ah yeah chrome oh my lord you're crazy Two browsers. What is your wrong? RAM must be crying. Yeah, your computer is like. Ugh. I don't know why browsers are so RAM hungry these days, but like having one tab open is like hundreds of megabytes of RAM oh, gone. Yeah, God. yeah. You're beating up that poor laptop, man. Yeah. No wonder it's like the, the screen's falling off, or whatever it was. <laughs> that has nothing to do you're with how much you're RAM is being. The weight of all those tabs. Okay, okay. Let's get back on. Let's get back on track. Uh, no, this is the funniest <laughs> one. This is. So this one is good. good. Known issue three. We have received reports regarding the Circus Tower Alliance raid, where actions oh. used by Amon would cause the duty to become impossible to progress. We are currently investigating the cause of the issue. We apologize for any inconvenience caused, and we'll report back as soon as there is progress on the situation. So what happens is, you know, we all know the Amon fight, if you haven't done it yet. There is a moment where he summons the ice ice things uh, and you have some, you hide behind them when he does uh, Faraga Forte I think no curtain call mm. oh curtain call sorry curtain call yes correct yes. Uh, they don't drop and that means Here's you're going thing, to wipe quite simply do more DPS 
Shut up. <laughs> you can get through it. You can. It is possible. It is. Some people have, you... I think. I think I saw someone on Twitter that had actually managed to down him. That's um, really impressive, actually. Yeah. 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 So. If, if, if enough people actually know how to play their job and lock in, you can. Yeah. You can. Um, <laughs> yeah. I. It is what they clarified this on the lodestone later. It's not just Circus Tower. The issue is, but the only reason that it's the most prominent in Circus Tower is because the other duties where it happens Dragon Song's Reprise Ultimate, The Minstrel's Ballad, Shinryu's Domain, and Delubrum Regine Savage are not exactly things that the the average person is jumping into during the launch of a new expansion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was straight into Delubrum Regine I, Savage. I, I, <laughs> I will have to say, though, that a hotfix was implemented without maintenance mm. on the game. So this issue has been resolved. Uh, they, they specifically say. Um, this was done uh, today um, at 4.31, what a random time, 4.31 p.m. BST. Uh, that's 1.31 a.m. Uh, Australian Eastern Time. Mm. Uh, the following issue has been addressed. An issue with freezing mechanics not working correctly in Circus Tower, potentially preventing further, pre potentially preventing further uh -oh. progression. It is only potential to kill because some groups were able to get around this that's by true. killing their healers and then having them revive just in time. Yep, yep. That's, uh, that's a good way of doing it. We are also, but however, we are also continuing to address the issue with freezing mechanics not working correctly for the following duties and we'll post an update as soon as fixes are complete. Until then, we ask for your patience and understanding. So this has not been mm. fixed in the following ones. Dragon Song's Reprise, Ultimate, The Minstrel's Ballad, Ballad Shinryu's, domain, Shinryu's Domain, and Delubrum Regine Savage. So they are still mm. broken in the game. I can understand episode. why they're not prioritizing those right now. I'm sorry for anyone that's working on their Dragon Songs <laughs> Reprise prog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Reprise, Dragon Song, I'm still doing my Shinry UEX prog. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, more absurd issues coming in now, this time for the PS5. This feels like, I don't know, I it, this is a strange... Almost unbelievable issue, but uh, this is for uh, people playing on PS5. We are receiving reports from some customers on the PlayStation 5 version <laughs> where they are being disconnected from the game when the clock hits 12 a.m. on Sunday, <laughs> June 30th. When attempting to relaunch the game, a countdown timer to the official launch of Dawn Trail is shown, <laughs> which stops them from progressing. This I think I said go to sleep. This, it almost it's almost like a creepy pasta. Like it's not there's yeah. no creepy yeah. part in it, but it feels like Isn't yeah. it go twelve AM on the Sunday the thirtieth of June? So it's gonna only be affecting like like Eastern of the world people right now, like Australian time yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that means people who are in Europe and, and America are probably like sweating it. God, yeah. when it gets to 12 a.m. And, so will I get disconnected? Yeah, uh, and what's mm. best, what's the best part of this is that they say this seems to only occur when certain conditions are met. They don't list them. <laughs> However, oh. we're also receiving reports that affected customers are able to resume playing <laughs> by downloading the free trial version. If you experience this uh. issue when the clock turns over to Sunday, June 30th, please try downloading the free trial version. This is insane. I think it just proves that computers have no real logic to them. It's actually just magic and vibes. Yeah, that's mm. true. Yeah. You can just do some shit and sometimes things will work. Yes. Do you yes. not understand now why people are afraid of the millennium bug? Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. scared of the, the mm. iron curtain of the PlayStation 5 midnight curfew. Uh -huh. I, uh, <laughs> on PC. Uh... uh. Yeah, that's going to be fun, though. You'll just walk I around. I hope it does sweep the on, world. I on, like genuine. I think it's going to be great. Like, it's Saturday. Tonight. It's, it's tonight. It's tonight. It's just a single crash, though, right? Is what they're saying? It's just no, you, crash when there's a countdown time. that you can't You can't come back anymore. in. It'll lock you yeah, out. It's and over. Say, countdown to Dawn Trail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. so, I thought you were saying for real for a while. I was like, oh my God. No, it, it will... Um, one minute to midnight tonight. I'm gonna it's walk so around and watch as like people just get yeah. like, and all snapped. <laughs> like out. people, yeah, half of the population. <laughs> it's a, I mean, it's a weird bug as well because like it's something that like even if they don't ever actually fix it, it will ultimately seemingly go away since it just results in a countdown to the official launch. Yes. So mm. yeah, 
Like a part yeah. of me, if I was at Square Enix, I'm like, oh, there's a workaround. Do we need to work on this? <laughs> oh, you can't make people not play for two days. Though. Two days. No, uh, but no, as I no, but there's they can download the free trial version. Oh, come on, like, the free true. trial thing is such what the shabby. So annoyed. What, yeah, I, there should be a mess. God, I don't know. It's such a weird bug. I don't know. It's it's interesting. Speaking of weird bug, though, hope you're not a male aura loving uh, pizza loving <laughs> aura because you might look like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the that's uh, what one pizza does to your body yeah put down the slice now <laughs> apparently uh the uh, eat pizza emote specifically uh is broken for male al raw uh in the game like mm. you should go look up like a gif or a video of this the face he'll take a bite He'll savor the taste for a second, and then the face just fucking demonically twists. The eyes just like pop out of his skull and turn like it's crazy. Someone needs to make it, and then like, a thumbs up right after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Someone make it a video where he's doing like a mmm when his face starts spinning around. <laughs> mm. He's already enjoying it. Yeah, it's crazy. So um, that one uh, has not been, I guess. They can't check every fucking emote, it's, and this one must have been because, really. Surprising. Well, it's also because it's a promotion only emote, so they just pro it probably snuck by them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got see, I got so excited because I saw it in game happen the mm -hmm. first time. I was until it all happened, and I saw the. I was like, I thought it was just something weird. Like, okay, maybe my graphics card is going crazy too. Yeah. <laughs> and then I saw the GIF on Twitter and like Reddit and shit. Uh, and then I, I got so excited. I was like. I have the eat pizza emote. Will it do it? And then no. <laughs> I, I was so sad when it didn't work for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Use I mean, your you free Fantasia and cool. then you can experience the joy of Rollo. Oh yeah, yeah you can do it. <laughs> That's uh, a good idea. Yeah. Uh, uh, for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there you go. Uh, if you are a male aura and you happen to have the eat pizza emote, you know what to do before they take it out. Yeah. Go horrify go your friends. Yes. Yes. Mm. Um, okay, uh, more more stuff. Um, temporary suspension of automatic housing demolition. Uh, this is uh, this pretty is fresh news as of the live uh, uh, episode. Thank you. Uh, this is um, obviously, like the title says, they're halting uh, housing demolition. Thank you for your cooperation in easing congestion since the start of Dawn Trail Early Access. In recognition of all the players who have cooperated in easing congestion and in acknowledgement... It's a reward. That there are yeah. a large number of you playing in data centers other than your home world. We are temporarily suspending the automatic housing removal counter as follows until the congestion has abated. So the counter uh, suspended uh, uh, at uh, 7.15 BST, so 8.15 Central European time, and 4.15 PM uh, Australian Eastern time. Um, so all worlds. This applies to every single world. So no housing demolition. After the above date and time, the counter will stop completely. If your estate or land is currently being prepared for auto demolition, you can cancel the status by entering your estate or constructing an estate on your land. When the auto demolition counter resumes, it will resume from the time remaining as of the temporary suspension. This excludes estate slash lands where the demolition process has been cancelled. As for when auto demolition will resume, we will monitor the situation in the coming days and inform you all when we have come to a decision that auto demolition can commence again. So, there you go. No housing. I mean, that's nice of them. Yeah. You'll do it mm. for this, but not for the payment issues? Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah, that was strange, too. Very because weird. You cooperated for this one. This is, this is a <laughs> you behavior you reinforcement. You weren't cooperating enough during the payment I, I, issues. <laughs> Okay. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Shit. I mean, either Why way, it's fine because now it'll work for everything. But yeah. it's just like this is where you're drawing the line. People stuck on the world for like a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, you uh, can relax if you were worried that your house was going to get demolished if you're on uh, some other world. Um, okay. Moving on to uh, not technical issues now. Guys, we can all get. Yeah! The Chipotle. The, the Choke. Oh, God, I always hate this name. Choco. Chocoperker. Chocoperker. Uh, mm. Twitch viewer rewards. Sorry, I just yes. read the headline. You can all get the Chipotle. Rollo eating 
Ages I can't say it anymore. Chocopaker. We can all get the Chocopaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys yeah. didn't earn it. I I worked in those Butterfinger mines. <laughs> what did you guys do to the stolen you know valor? <laughs> jo Rollo is joking. There have been some people that have been. I've seen people be serious about this. Not just about the Butterfingers, but also the people that I wasted my entry for the thirty day promotion thing on twitter fucking getting this eat my ass we get nothing uh, as a european for, 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 we get for, nothing. It was for, for the american dollars. people i can have the, the the smallest crumb of sympathy because they had a chance for this yeah. with the promotion and now it's being brought back but for anyone who didn't we didn't have a chance for this we we cannot get this amount uh, this amount no we we had no promotion for it so for us shut we, up we yeah. For, first of all, you paid five bucks. Fine. Yeah. But you still got a fucking treat. You yeah. bought a product you could eat. Yeah. You, we had to sit there and be like, oh please, sir. When do we get the chipotle? <laughs> yeah. And we you know, never we had to got make it. Rollo eat more than and his we were like, share. Rollo, <laughs> eat more butterfingers. Eat more butterfingers. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, it didn't Put me fucking in the work. Chair. Uh, I even made up an address in America. Bucks. Yeah. It, well, you had to buy like three bars, I think, or three oh, things okay. of Butterfingers, yeah. or Ugh. or have it total up to five dollars worth fingers of Butterfingers. Of butter. It was something like that. <laughs> Do it like this. Imagine if it was three sticks yeah. of butter. <laughs> they should they should do it like this at, uh, most times. This is available. This is the best way of doing not it. Not regulated yeah. by weird national laws or whatever. You can do this worldwide. Like stuff. Normal like games do this. Yeah. Every um, normal sorry, game I has Twitch drops. Sorry, we haven't actually explained what this is. We've just oh, sorry. Uh, you can now get the, <laughs> We got the so mount. caught up. Sorry. Uh, and this the is, anger. <laughs> this so is, aggressive. This is for the Twitch uh, Twitch viewer rewards campaign. Um, we're excited to announce a new collaboration with Twitch to celebrate the launch of Dawn Trail. Players will be able to get their hands on some, some neat in-game items, as well as the adorable Chipork... Chork... <laughs> I can't say it anymore. Chukopica. It's over. Chukopaker. Um, the the doo-doo mount or whatever. I don't know. I, let's call it the doo-doo mount. Uh, by watching no. uh, or part no. uh, participating Final Fantasy XIV streamers live on Twitch. Uh, Rollo gave me an out. And I milk dud. That. Call yeah. it milk dud. Uh, the milk dud? Okay, sure. The milk dud. Um, so it starts on the 2nd of June. Uh, sorry, July. <laughs> Uh, which is launch t uh, date for uh, Dawn Trail, uh, starting at 9 a.m. BST, uh, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Time, until Monday the 29th of July, uh, same time. Um, wow, so a really long time period to get here. Yeah, all you have to do is watch participate any participating Twitch channel streaming 14 uh, uh, with the viewer rewards tag and receive item codes for the following rewards based on how many accumulative hours you've watched. One hour... Watched, you get the EXP boost meal set, buttery oh. mog biscuit, and fat choco choco, 10 oh. times 10. Um, for three hours watched, you get 10 ether, only 10 ether, I think oh. it's a bit stingy. And then six hours watched, you get the uh, the milk dud whistle uh, yeah. times one. Uh, six hours, and remember, this is, you don't have to sit down and watch a stream for six hours. This will build... Uh, yes. yeah. for six hours. Mm -hmm. So just yeah. make and sure to have the screen reach. muted because it yeah. Count. Have oh, it yeah. at one percent. No, you can you have, have you can have the screen muted. You can't have the you can't have the no. You, you can, can have, have the, the tab the tab muted. muted yeah. You can yeah. mute the you tab. You can play around with it. But, but you watch have, us. But the ha the tab has to be open. You have to like. No, watch I think it. they've changed. I think they've changed that. It has to. I think the warning is more so. You know. You know how on some. Let's maybe not give this advice. Watch the streamer. I think <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, don't don't cheat. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't but know. one thing you do need to know is when you hit a milestone, you have to accept the reward before it will continue counting. Yes. So keep an eye yeah. on your entry. You have to stay That's on true. top of that. This as is well. also this is available to any people that are streaming Final Fantasy fourteen. Yes. So yeah. no exclusive. You can watch whoever you want. Yes. This is crazy. Yeah. This is like the weirdest. Yeah, do choose us. This is a really weird Twitch drop because normally they like a campaign lasts like a week or less like days mm -hmm. they're like super mm. exclusive whereas this is like a month almost yeah yeah Ooh. well you know Thank what you. whatever they can have this one europeans will never know the joy of the mountain zoo we exactly. will one day <laughs> or or the mountain dew in-game item which is called what is it I also... sparkling citrus refreshment yeah you'll never have <laughs> no nope. i mean wow. i mean it is egg. currently 
it is currently an American exclusive reward, but like, I know Mountain Dew is a global product. They might bring it to us one day. <laughs> no, maybe. Square Enix, don't listen to them. They don't deserve it. What have they done to deserve it? Exactly. Or maybe. We put poison in our bodies, body every day. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine the uproar if that part oh, of the Twitch viewer rewards campaign? That <laughs> oh, would, love the, that there would be riots. I don't, Again, the that's like one I, six dollars I think worth is, of Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Mountain Dew one, I think, is less likely to come to Twitch just because it's directly Nate. The name directly references the product. Yeah. 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 I could see them bringing it into other regions, but under like a different name, but still the same model, you know, just to kind of avoid uh, that's fair. association. That'd be my guess if they don't just bring it over outright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah um okay so yeah um i i don't want to i'm not going to go through all of how you do this uh it's on the lodestone in all the instructions if you're unfamiliar with how this works you essentially just log in uh to twitch watch the, sh the channel it'll give you a little notification at the top of the chat that there's a, a drop thing and it gives you a link that you can click and you'll see your progress that's how uh, twitch drops work and remember like Mela said you have to claim them after the the timer for each step mm -hmm. has been reached. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it'll literally stop. If you watch for six yeah. hours and you don't claim for that first hour, you've just done the first hour. So yeah, stay on top of that. Very important. Um, okay, that's uh, that's that. There's also a Dawn Trail sweepstakes going on, uh, where you Ooh. can win a collector's box. Um, this is a um, a twit. Twitter. Oh no, it's any social media account that they have. I think that, that you can, um, where you can join. Um, I don't know if it's any. I think it needs to be specifically attached to either Twitter or um, Twitch. I think because it says here how to enter. Visit the Gleam promotion page and complete complete at least one or more entry methods. Either follow the Twitter you account, you, retweet the yeah, promotional you post. Uh, yeah. As someone that's done this. You can't unlock the one the the challenges, I guess, to do the to view the Facebook post, Instagram post, or oh, uh, until you've done connected either your Twitter account or your Twitter yeah. account and done the first three. Otherwise, it won't know. Right, of you've course, done it, I of course. So you okay? So follow the fourteen uh, uh, English fourteen uh, Twitter account if necessary. First, create a Twitter account for mm. free. Uh, it did. Yeah. It does clar. They did clarify that if you are in a French or German region, you do have to follow the specific accounts. Oh, okay. Region, regional. So yeah, if you have a okay, I see. Do that. Retweet the the Twitter promotional post. View the Final Fantasy fourteen Facebook account. <laughs> Just view it. No, that's that's my favorite part because when you get you get to these ones, there's a button that will take you there. You've done. You've, you're done. You just click the button and you're yeah. done. Okay. That's all you got to do. That's easy. Free entry. Um, view the Final Fantasy XIV Facebook promotional post. View the Final Fantasy XIV Instagram account. Uh, follow the official Final Fantasy XIV Twitch channel. <coughs> uh, and visit the official Final Fantasy XIV YouTube channel. That's all you have to do. So, uh, easy. easy, PC, and you can win uh, the collector's box. So, why not? Can win a not very good collector's edition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Oh, you you don't have it doesn't have the regions that are available for this. Uh, no, it doesn't. Sorry, I just clicked no. that link and it says follow. Do I not already follow it on the speaker's account? I'm gonna click the mysterious follow. No, button. because you're probably not. Are you have you connected your twit your Twitter account to the page already? Yeah, you remember you allowed to to oh. clean. Oh. It says login. That's with the issue. Of I see. Yeah. Okay. If you're not logged in yet, it won't do it. I see. It's nice that you get notified by a Twitter direct message, which has always seemed bizarre to me mm -hmm. as a way of announcing that you've won something. Better have DMs open so yeah. Square Enix can slide into them. Hi, it's John from Square Enix. You've won the box. What's your address? <laughs> oh my god, I have to enter my address. Sorry, I'm doing this live on air. What what am no, I don't doing? Do this live. I'm just I don't know why you thing. are. <laughs> I was just testing the website. I was I was intrigued. All right. Anyways, the prize is the uh, Dawn Trail Collector's Box, which comes with the figurine with the, the Warrior of Light standing in a dog poo. Uh, <laughs> one, yeah? Oh, I was just, oh, no, you keep going. You go through that first. One winner from eligible uh, North American territories and one winner from eligible European slash Oceanian territories will be selected through a random drawing to win. 
one Final Fantasy fourteen Dawn Trail Collector's Box. So mm-hmm. you'll be notified in so, July 2024 via Twitter direct messages. July 2020? Oh, just, just July. Okay. Yeah. Sometime in July. Yeah, okay. So yeah, the region this is available to all 50 states of the US, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico, Canada, not Quebec. So that's the that's the region oh. for North America. Then the European region. Oh boy. I like how they specify this. Austria. The UK, excluding mm-hmm. overseas British territories. Sweden, Norway, Australia, excluding South Australia. Excluding South? I thought South. was funny. As in the state, not as in, yeah. the, not as why, in the geographical why, part of it. Why is one state excluded? I don't know. It's made me really curious to look up their sweepstake rules in South Australia. <laughs> I just like thought it was funny. Too. Yeah. But yeah, I also think it's no, funny. Good to be Sweden, European, right? Guys. Well, good to be Swedish or not, no, Swedish, wait, Norwegian, not Austrian. Austrian. We're, we're all European. Wait, no, we? wait, hold on, hold on. Not Denmark, not Finland, not Iceland. Nope. Nope, they're not listed here. Two, two Nordic countries. That's it. Okay. Interesting. And the UK right? and Australia. No, even even, even more Nordic. specific, <laughs> two Scandinavian countries. Yeah, two Scandinavian. Um, yeah, not even Scandinavia as a whole. Huh, weird. No. Yeah, then Germany is just Germany. And then France is France, excluding French overseas territories. Sorry for people in French Guyana. <laughs> Weird. Uh, so... This is so strange. Okay. Because that's extra strange because I expected Norway to be excluded. And then the other Nordic no. countries, uh, Norway and Iceland, because we're not part of the EU. But this is like Norway and Sweden. Why? Norway, not EU, European. Sweden, yeah. EU. Yeah. I- that's why I wanted to go into this. I thought the ex- I thought the exceptions were very strange. Yeah, it's clearly yeah. just Europe, the United think Kingdom, it's... Germany, France, Norway, Sweden, official Austria, Europe. and Australia. Yeah, the, yeah, the official it's just Europe. Europe. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Fuck Spain. Fuck Portugal. Fuck Italy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Poland. Yeah. Those pl- we don't even have it in these Basically languages, Rollo. <laughs> Europe They're stops. Asia. At, Europe stops at the bottom of France. Everyone yeah. knows that. That's <laughs> they're all either African or Asian. Yeah, yeah. Europe right. is only known as very select few people. Italians, yeah. basically Turkish people. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, there you go. Uh, if you are in any of these weird, weirdly defined regions, uh, uh, culturally you- European countries, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can join the sweepstakes. Um, okay, that uh, concludes our um, maintenance and uh, other stuff. Uh, just a reminder that uh, you can s- you can send us Mogmail, but depending on what we do next week, uh, w- we may not read it uh, until mm-hmm, a couple yeah. of weeks from now. So Figuring out what we're going to do next week is difficult because I feel like this is less time than normal to complete the MSQ in t- under two podcast yeah. time. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, well, well, yeah, we'll break the oh, I guess the embargo or well, the community embargo is done. The week after next, right? Because it's always two weeks. Well, we've we've, we've traditionally it. always done it earlier, but we'll we'll because we, remember we did Dawn uh, D- uh, Endwalker and Shadowbringers just a week after it released, didn't we? The we early did access. No, we did the, we did them two weeks after. Oh shit! I'm thinking about patch stories, don't I? The patch. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patches, patch, patches, patches are different for the yeah. community. It's been so yeah. long since we've had done an expansion story. Okay, two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll so, see what happens. Yeah. I but don't. We, we, th- we, we will. I also, will... we have to finish it. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. Other... Next see, week that, probably See, that's the other thing. Mail. I'm not sure if I'm going to be done by next podcast. Same. Same. So no. we're making steady pace. I feel like, but you know, yeah. it's a it's a lot of video game. <clears throat> yeah. So don't worry. Uh, spoiler free uh, stuff are coming yeah, up now. We're just going to talk about. Our f- Let's start with our first impressions before we get into the the patch notes because there's a lot to say about the game. Um, obviously, a lot of updates to the game that has occurred. Uh, I have to. I love Dawn Trail. I yeah. said it. I love yeah. Dawn Trail. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> am, really good. I am. It is. Uh, the world looks incredible. I the mm. new the new graphics update. So changes so much. Like it cha- Like I there yeah. was a moment on stream um la- last stream on friday yesterday uh where i walked into the fc house and i was i was stunned when i looked at the fc just 
Because <laughs> it just looked unrecognizable because the gold was gold now and it just like stood out like a new piece of furniture. I'm like, can we <laughs> die the FC chest now? Like what is happening? Uh, yeah. Uh like I, I feel like I'm re like um I'm it, it's like I don't know, it's hard to explain. I walked down the um, I wasn't even in one of the new zones. I was just walking oh, it was in the black shroud. And I noticed that like the light, like the way the light moved on the ground was like completely like different than I was used to. Mm -hmm. Like I've played this game so much that I think I know how this game works. Walk past a light post, a, la a lamp post, the light like hitting my character. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I to, yeah, I'll walk past mm -hmm. it again. <laughs> seeing, <laughs> I have to see it again. Yeah, seeing standing in places where there's multiple light sources and seeing shadows go in multiple directions like oh my god yeah it's yeah. Crazy. so much to this it's, game now yeah. it's beautiful yes. I, i'm awed by the beauty of this world yes i'm, I'm touched yeah, chat's, br chat's yeah. bringing up fog the way fog lays upon the ground oh, the water is amazing oh, yeah. i haven't oh. had to see real fog yet. oh no I'm it looks great mela uh, Bill Meg, my beloved favorite zone oh yeah looks mm -hmm. so beautiful mm -hmm. it, uh, mm -hmm. yeah it does um went to even the azim step actually looks a lot better yeah we, yeah, went to step. Went to step. yeah. Step. we also yeah. went to the sylphlands and they look that place looks nuts mm. now. so Just if you haven't cake. been to the sylphlands in um uh the shroud uh, east shroud go do that because that looks incredible and in, with the new stuff uh it's weird because it look it also just looks right like it, mm. it's like when you've the first time you ever put on glasses and you think is you know, <laughs> yeah. do normal people see the world this good yeah yeah, it, yeah. Like, everything looks so crisp mm -hmm. but at the same time they've captured the art style so well that you yeah. you can yeah. fool yourself into thinking it's always looked like this because yeah. it's like it just looks right mm -hmm. it's uh you know what you shut up about graphics now no i don't ever want to hear about complaints about but it's fine it does not have to look better than this for a very long time I probably think. there are probably like it's, I, I like i mean i've always liked i agree the only, anyway it's not the it's only textures and stuff which is an issue and they're really good now yeah the mm -hmm. textures are good the only thing that like i always thought looked pretty horrible which still they haven't really touched on is water but that i know that that's hard that's just hard to do mm. and this game will water probably doesn't never happen this game and some yeah. of the flickering which they've sorted to that that's mostly sorted now at least the, yeah the milk mm. rain too is still kind of the rain is horrible bring back uh, a realm report yeah. please yeah this stun textures are still yet to be updated like it, when you mm -hmm. see items that are clearly old so yeah. they don't match up as well like one of the things that i noticed is that um when i look at like wuklamat's gear like it looks it looks updated and looks nice mm -hmm. but um kona's gear it, i don't know if it's an old piece of gear or if it was made for dawn trail either way i feel like the textures aren't as well made for mm -hmm. kona's mm -hmm. gear that's there was one the, cutscene um... where it zoomed in on his shoulder, and I was like, eh, "It doesn't look as nice as when it zooms in on Wukla." Oh yeah, you're yeah. right. I did. I have That's noticed that. that a couple of times. Yeah. That's uh, the old Machinist AF gear from. Well, that'll I be why. Isn't it? Well, there you go. Oh, it's the level eighty Machinist gear. Well, no wonder. Yeah, I because I, I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not a I'm not a machine. <laughs> I'm not a Machinist <laughs> player, so I can't remember every yeah. artifact gear yeah. set for them. Um. Oh yes, they also yes. Yeah, Chad is correct. They change the way NPCs walk in cutscenes. They don't go straight line, turn oh, yeah. straight line. If uh, you look, yeah. they go. They walk like normal people yeah. in terms of like they follow yeah. actual walking arcs. I was yeah. It's. Uh, I wonder if that is a change that is fundamental. That that it'll it also applies to older cutscenes. I don't know, but like because how it worked before is very like. They go from node to node. Yeah, they go boom, the same, so. and then they boom, mm. and then they boom. But now they go boom like that. I feel like that might be like a change in like how that system works. That it doesn't just it's stop the at the same, node. It's the same thing with faces as well. I know they talked a little bit about it before, mm. but the transition from like the e like the different uh, face expressions is way more natural instead of just mm. instant like. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's 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 smoother. It looks so much better. It's yes. definitely like small details were changed, but it's mm -hmm. it's really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was something. So I was walking around in. Um, I think we can say this. This is not a spoiler. Like Tolio Lol, you know this fucking starting city oh, of the. I think, of anything, I, think, or... I think we can talk about any of the zones from the the uh, the media tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, Only by like yeah, name and thing. Walking around in Tulliolal makes you realize how fucking like not. I'm not going to say bad, but like how bad. Well, I'll say it anyways. Uh, the original city states now look. Like there is, they look very sparse. Yes, because oh. because in Tulliolal you see NPCs walking around. You see like there there's even without players, the world the the city looks like it's alive. In Limsa, if there's no people, it's so liminal. It's so like mm. a, a dead city. Also, let's not forget it's That's split true, in two, yeah. and it also looks so small compared to Tulliolal. Like there's yeah. so. It's. I believe it's, that yeah. Tulliolal is a real city. I don't believe Limsa oh, yeah. is real. Like it. Don't... No, Limsa feels like an amusement park. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Like there's mm. nowhere where I can look where like, I guess that's where people live. Yeah. Like in Limsa. Yeah, there are no homes like, in Limsa. <laughs> like, like, no. kind of, and there, are, there are suggestions um, for them. Like you see them in the like to some windows the, in the distance. Of the yeah. original three city states, I think Uldar is the best in terms of yeah. replicating what an actual yeah. city would feel like. But I could yeah. not stop thinking to myself. 8.0, unify the zones in the city oh, states. It has to. You yeah. have Same to thing with it. Ishgard. Yeah, Ishgard too. Ishgard needs it If too. you can do Tulliolal, you can do the original Ish city states. Ishgard is interesting because I don't know if it was ever designed to be one zone because I actually think Foundation and... Um, I think Foundation and the Pillars are actually significantly further away from each other than the, the, the city-states that were originally from 1.0, which were designed to be one area. Oh, I think there's are. like a, they, they I think would, there's a massive distance between the two of them. They, they would, would need to functionally, fundamentally change how they would, designed. they they would, but they could. I mean, they could just make that like a staircase, a very long staircase, or something. <laughs> the longest staircase. Yeah, no just one. do something like that, yeah. you know, because that's what Limsa has. You have to walk up a pretty long. Like if you've been to, uh, you've been to, um, what's the uh, the first? Um, that ha it had literally. Kastarium? No, the uh, the gaudy one, you know, where oh god, I, what, how do I? What did I forget the name? Yulmor. Yulmor. Yulmor has the staircase. If you walk up that staircase, it, yeah, that's true. It does have Limsa's a long staircase. staircase. So you, yeah, that's true. Yulmor is Limsa. Yeah, Ishgards. What? No, Lim I'm saying no, Limsa. Limsa oh, no, also no, has I a was, long staircase I, I to get up. I to think the you could level. do it with Limsa. I was talking about Li yeah, yeah, yeah. Ishgard. I am, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah but they could add a big. They could um, just add a big staircase like that in mm -hmm. to get you up to the pillars. It's not that hard. Um, I think. Um, so yeah, make do it. Fix the city, especially be in the nice realm treat. of one ones. They they are made to be one. I think it's I think it's much more doable with the realm of one zones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So and also, I mean, they could add just adding NPCs that walk around. I think even Ishgard has mm. that. Like, but a realm reborn doesn't. They, well, they got better I know they expansion. Yeah, they slowly started adding kind of more, like mm -hmm. you know, characters with like dialogue or just faffing about you know whatever. Yeah, out. yeah. Um, Christarium, I think, is still really good. Christarium um, feels fairly lived in. Yeah. You're more to a lesser mm. degree, but some areas are a little sparse because they, they all live out sort of outside. I feel like I, Kugane feels relatively lived in. Kugane is quite good. Yeah, Kugane is good. I think that's it's just by the name of the Yeah, I actually think they're getting better at it. I actually think Old Charlian is one of the least has is one of the least successful at this but i also feel like that's because we're not seeing most of old charlian like we know that most of the residential stuff is not stuff we have access to yeah yeah i i do agree with the fact that Christarium is perhaps it's so big it's very like it's like there's a lot of like the big open plaza in front of the crystal uh the crystal tower for instance does give it like there are some liminal uh, I vibes I think you there. can mm -hmm. forgive the Crystarian being empty based on the fact that the majority of the world is dead. <laughs> right. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <of> <laughs> it is meant to be a bastion for the people who are still alive. Yeah. So I don't give it too much flack for that. But it, They've it built it... Big. They've built it for the next hundred years when there's they've repopulated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. good at city planning. That's all. True. You gotta have yeah, space yeah. to expand into. Yeah. But no, no, it, it just it causes less eyebrow raises in like Christarium with the narrative that goes with it compared yeah. to like a Realm Reborn stuff or like where do these people live? Yeah, <laughs> I know where the people live in Gridania, that like, place that we're still too much of a loser to go into. Oh, that's yeah. only the rich people. Rich people live there. Yeah, but that's yeah. where all they live. Yeah, that's, that's where true. they all live. Yeah, it's interesting because this it's similar with zones, but. Around uh, Reborn Zones, because they were split up, mm -hmm. felt very 
can like of dense in terms of um like set mm. pieces and then from there it took them maybe until i'd say shadow bringers to kind of pull back and make the zones feel as dense but also big but the ones mm. so far in this expansion have felt maybe it's partially just the graphics update but they've just feel like they've got so much little bits dotted around yeah like with like mm-hmm. you know i mean that, that's interest. something they that's something they talked about in the build yeah. in the run up to this expansion that there there is so much just more just like detail in the world it's it's right. definitely what i've wanted cuz you know go, you go back to a run of what you think god these were so good like yeah. why do they look so good even though they're so old yeah uh, why one of the worst ones missed? though Corthus Western Highlands. That's my most Oh, that hit. one's just a square. It is so bad yeah. and empty and it's But it's oh. meant to be, so it's it's fine, but it is yeah, it is just it, a big square. It's just big and just white it's, snowy square. Yeah. Um the set pieces in Curthus were good. Like the broken the town that got fucked over is so cool. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, mm-hmm. back to Dawn Trail, which is what the we're actual talking about. Expansion. The actual <laughs> expansion. I'd say there's only one thing that's no, that has annoyed me in Dawn Trail so far, and that's the uh, players disappear around NPCs thing. Because when you go up to an NPC who's a quest marker, and the players disappear, and then there's like there's let's say let's say you've got to talk to Kryle to progress, but Wuklamat's there. So I go, "Hi, Wuklamat, how you doing?" You click on Wuklamat, everyone reappears while she's talking, that. and then <laughs> oh, disappears yeah. again, which is fucking annoys me, yeah. and. When there's so many people there, on some characters it seems the radius is so small that people just like are standing on the NPCs no matter what, like no matter where you stand. It doesn't always seem to work perfectly. Well, huh. The other thing is the, there's so that we know that there's two settings. There's the one that like makes them disappear before you talk to them, and the one that makes even more people disappear around them when yeah. you're in, actually yeah, interacting with that's them. That's good. I don't like if you only select the first option. If you're talk, if you just start talking to the story npc the people will just reappear around you oh i want them to just not be there in general i don't need them to reappear when i'm actually talking because i was fine with the smaller the smaller crowd i have it all the fact that i have them both yeah i have it all ticked now as well because of the fact that they reappear if you're just talking to the npc it makes sense Mm. now because the first feature is to just make so you can find the npc exactly and then the second feature is to have them removed when you're talking to them but even the like having all of it ticked on you see people like jumping into it and then disappearing like a moment i think it's funny yeah it's really i i I think it makes the going through MSQ so much better. Now. Oh, yeah, I, I, it does. Yes, I do. I agree with you, man. It does kind of suck that they can't do like the the side NPCs that aren't uh, yeah. relevant. Mm-hmm. Um, also, vanish. But I think it might just be a limitation because otherwise you might have like every it, NPC in the mm-hmm. game yeah. kind of vanishing people. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, well, I think it should just be that, like, if you're in the proximity of the MS of the quest NPC, they should just remain there. Just invisible. don't reappear. Yeah. 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 Or you know you can just make the radius bigger. Yeah, all that. Yeah, that would be nice too. Yeah, that's yeah. Make, like, if small, you double so. the size, I think it'd be. Yeah, you'd, you'd be fine. They usually aren't that far apart anyway. Yeah. Um, Other than that, yes, great. I'm loving just. I'm loving the pace. I'm loving the adventure. Mm, it, you yeah. know, it, mm-hmm. it, well, it feels like um, I was saying before, but it feels like more has happened. Uh, in like these first few, like uh, you know, I'm. Oh yeah, we discussed this not that before. Far in. But like, it feels like it's so much interesting stuff has happened, and yet also we haven't got that far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas mm-hmm. where I am in the storyline, in oh. Endwalker, we had already done the first two zones. We're done. We'd sprinted through Garlemald. We were on the fucking moon chasing Xenos and killing Zodiac. <laughs> So much happened, and there was <clears throat> nothing was taken. Like nothing well, had the proper amount of time we dedicated have, to it. Yeah, because we talked about this when we um, discussed when we uh, reviewed um, the the expansion Endwalker. Uh, that mm. it, the pacing was off with Endwalker. It yeah. felt like it should have maybe it was been split in two. Like <laughs> it was so <laughs> yeah. fast, um, and like but, some uh, things needed more time. But this feels like I'm just. It just feels great. It's yeah. just such a good, for me. This is a really perfect pace of like an early. It's you know, comfy. It's weird. It's so it's comfy. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm. Mm. I yeah, I am enjoying this pace. Mm. 
it's it's, yeah. it's nice though. It's slow. It's relaxing. They it does feel like the promised kind of vacation that they said. Mm -hmm. and instead of the fake one, new adventure set, they shed mm -hmm. new patches of N Walker. Yeah, where it went straight from like yeah, fun adventures to like all right, world ending stress again. <laughs> yeah, but it yeah. also doesn't feel no stakes like I feared it would. It right. feels like a fully fleshed out, condensed like you know like you know good stories happening mm -hmm. that I'm part of. Yeah, without the need for the planet's dying cloud. <laughs> uh the the um the music as well is oh, so good it's so good oh, i could listen to that jazz and to like, so mm -hmm. it's so it's so smooth on the ears and the daytime yeah. and the nighttime yeah, yeah. okay so like, then the nighttime theme people in our discord were talking about this i want i'm assuming you guys have noticed this as well there's a part where the piano starts up and then it just sounds like the piano player just sits on the piano keys as before it goes into like the actual piano solo or well, not solo but like oh, the piano yeah. part of it you, you just it's don't very jarring to me jazz. no i don't understand <laughs> freeform jazz i'm not saying that i do i'm just saying it's very <laughs> it's very jarring to yeah. people that aren't used to it i i haven't i That's don't find bad. it jarring but i have noticed it i guess yeah so yeah well uh, i also love that weird there is one track that where what is this it sounds you know you know that electric instrument with a stylus where you go beep, 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 beep. a theremin. No, 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 no that's the, the stylophone. Yeah, oh, stylophone. Just, yeah. Do you know oh, which? Right, yeah, do you yeah. know which um, song I'm talking about? Like, there's one. Bam, bam, yeah, bam, oh. bam, 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 bam. Chat, you know this. Have you know? I, I know which. I, I know. I, I don't know which song you're talking about, but I know the song. <laughs> yeah, like, I remember it. Yeah, I love that one. I don't know. I don't remember <laughs> where it plays, but it just. I mm. I can hear it starting like oh here he comes bam 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 bam, bam. <laughs> uh, I love it yeah uh, yeah as um as far as sound goes too just to touch on some of the MSQ stuff or the world in general not not a spoiler thing um it's really refreshing hearing not like European accents anymore I know we did a little bit in N Walker with um the Thavnir stuff and get the kind of Indian stuff but um it's it's been nice, you know. Well, it's refreshing. The thing about Indian accents is that they're more accessible in terms of voice actors in the UK. I imagine these are significantly harder to. They're either very good at voice accented actors, or they've actually like hired people from the area or region. Yeah, yeah. they. Well, I, I know Oklahoma is American, so I think they've been going through American agencies in general. I think I would so. suspect it sounds like it. Yeah. I don't. I know. mean, I, I don't know. It's like it yeah. could just be good actors, but yeah. I agree. I don't so, like when everyone in the whole world sounds the same. I like that we have regionalized mm -hmm. accents. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's yeah, just a nice. I think maybe they should have done more in some of the maybe maybe Stormblood should have had a little bit more regionalized accenting. But yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I was I kind mean, of disappointed. To be fair, mm -hmm. I think greetings. My name is Lord Hien. Uh, I think <laughs> also uh, <laughs> even Eorcia would benefit from having more it, regional yeah, it accents would. Mm. than I can uh, forgive British. it though compared to some of the other mm. ones. I <laughs> yeah. think even through Stormblood. They, I think it was just an issue of like they did not have the budget necessarily to go as far as they have with uh -huh, Taral yeah. in terms of the voice acting and the uh, identity of it. Also, you have yeah. to remember, like, when you lock in, like, that's the accent for that region, you have to always have that be the accent. So, if you ever go back there and they have to like introduce Absolutely. a new character that's from there, they have to have that accent. So, it complicates mm. matters as well. Uh, Which is an interesting I mean, point. You say because... you say that you say that, but there were some people in Tavner that talked with straight up British accents. Well, I, maybe that was there, implying well, that they've been. Tavner had a weird mix of cultures. Though. Yeah, yeah. I think it's supposed to be kind of like the trade port thing of like you get lots of yeah. different yeah. cultures, which I, I get. You know, you got to make it work somehow. But I, I'm just glad it's different now. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron uh, feels interesting though. It, yeah. I mean, I'm not far enough, to, but well, obviously we know he's from this region. Yeah. Well, we know he's from... But he's using okay. the Icelandic... Just because accent. we're already talking about a character that's in the story, let's not. Because I know people yeah. are already hovering over that's, the... Well, that's true. Yeah, sorry, sorry. We're not, we're not saying yeah. anything. Else. I just, you know, it's interesting to have the accents. Uh, let's just, for the record... I'm just level ninety three, so uh, don't uh, yeah. don't worry. We, I'm... We've done the first time. No, yeah, like, so that. don't worry. Um, so, uh, anyways, um, the um, what was I going to say before this? So we talked about the music. Oh yeah, we talked about the zones. They look incredible. The vibes in this game, 
Urkapacha is my home now. Oh yeah, Mela loves Urkapacha. <laughs> I, I love Urkapacha. I ignored Mela in Urkapacha. Uh... You can't ignore me in a cave. <laughs> what I kind have... of MMO is this where you, you see someone with a friend tag and you don't even say hello to them? I have tunnel vision when I am playing the game. I'm it's terrified. Not, no, it's, it's I am so scared of looking at someone who has like spoiler gear or spoiler anything because I've that has happened <laughs> before in, uh, in previous expansions. So I just, I see player, I immediately unfocus them and just move on with my life. So horrible. I did hear the laughter. I heard a laugh and I was like, oh, maybe they're on a different quest where they have to like emote or something. I was just getting an eat. Oh my God. Um, uh, what a funny cave. Yeah. <laughs> they were laughing in the cave. Sorry, if you've been trying to uh, get my attention during uh, this uh, expansion, uh, I have no not one cares seen you. about them. I have not seen you. <laughs> um, okay, so um, let's. I guess we can jump into the patch notes unless there's anything else uh, before we move on. We we will remember it when we go through the patch notes. I guess we're not going to read everything because um, no, some of the stuff we've already covered and some of it is you know just mentioning you know we've added quests. Cool. Uh, yeah. So let's see. We're uh, fans of Wook Lament. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, that's true. Which we want to. Yeah, I love. I should, I should, we can't talk anymore. Don't talk anymore. We can't talk about more, it. but we love. love we love. We that. love Wuklamo. All right. Uh, let's get this up on screen. Um, let's see. In a second. Uh, why doesn't it show up? Uh, Mela, why doesn't it show up? Uh, you've not fixed it. Got it me um, hidden. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. I fixed it there. There you go. Thank you. Uh, all right. The patch notes. Uh, obviously, like I said, they've they. This is the kind of shit we don't care about because we already know about these. Uh, yeah, locations. spoilers on all the fucking zones. Jesus Christ. I like, I like. If you talk to the sightseeing NPC, who's one of the first like quest sort of things that you'll have access to, um, I like that when you go through the sightseeing logs, they act as if, which. In game, we don't know about them, but they act as if we have no context as to what Heritage Found is. Like none of the entries of a Heritage Found up until the point that we are at in the game. Oh, okay. Um... Mm. They only acknowledge the world, like the regions that, like obviously they'd know about because they travel That's to good, them. Though. That's cool. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. We uh, we move on here. There's the new side stories. Um... The, all of this is oh, you, should, you, should, you should talk you should talk about that previous one that's the quest that you get for the fantasia you scroll past uh, the guy is so weird okay the, the bottled fantasy one we can probably mention briefly but it is it is just the quest to give the, you i do a lala fell drinks a fantasia and becomes a, a midlander here the um fantasia <laughs> bottle itself is not called a fantasia sorry either. highlander well, it's called a mysterious liquid or something like that. It's very. Oh, uh, it's very I'm not strange. Gonna turn into a Highlander one day. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That's spoiled that one for oh. you. Um, all right. Uh, new job quest. What you making, making? We are not denying We're not talking about so. any of this. No. Because this is all no. stuff that we're not going to talk about. Um, we've already talked about the hiding stuff. This. Uh, about that. Mm, I don't want to talk about this because it's. Uh, it will. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, I mean, this is a nice uh, update. The um... it's good for emotes. Yeah, uh, quest with emotes. Yeah, yeah, very good. Everything else is, you know, it already worked for items and your key items. Players, That's this is huge. The, this is game ch world shattering, game changing. Uh, players may now adjust text auto advance settings to apply only to voice dialogue. Yeah, um, I don't it use has taken auto advance because. I mean, I, do. I don't know how long it's going to give me on the non-voice ones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but now I can. It's just always on now. And it's perfect. Now I don't have to worry about that. It'll it'll only be for voice dialogue. Um, so, yeah. I might turn it on. Has changed the I'm game I'm so used completely. to not having it on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, yeah, I, I never use it because I was like, I don't know when yeah. I'm yeah. going to get a, uh, an unvoiced cutscene. Exactly. It might happen right after. And I have to rush yeah. to, to hit these buttons. Yeah. The fact that it's taken in this long to make this thing. Insane. Yeah. Mm. Um, to help alleviate issues with misinputs when completing quest objectives that require entering phrases with the chat mode in say, certain half width and full width characters will now be treated as the same character when typing. 
That's nice. That's got to be for like Japanese players, right? Oh, yeah. I was thinking yeah. that too. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's we don't. That's not relevant to us at all. For full no, no, characters. no. Also, tribal quests are gone. They are now called allied society mm -hmm. quests. We live so, in an allied I, society. We sure <laughs> yeah. do. I, a lot of people joked about it, but I really do think it's true. When they had that, um, whatever the uh, team was they worked with, to the sensitivity team? Someone, I yeah. Don't yeah, the cultural sensitivity team, I think, yeah, is they, a result of that. <laughs> they saw that, and they're like, you yeah. cannot say, call I, it that. What the hell? <laughs> would you like it if we went back to beast tribes? <laughs> <laughs> We're already only um, stuck on the team. I think they should just call them daily quests. It doesn't need to be lore yeah, appropriate. Because not everything... I mean, Nov's hatchery isn't a fucking allied society. It's an orphanage for Sahagin. It it's should, not a good name. It's a bad um, name It should for have been allied quests. Like that, why, yeah, allied I mean, quests would work society fine. Society is yeah. just weird. Well, or just daily quests is fine too. Or, yeah, whatever. Allied quests? Well, allied society quests doesn't work. I think they like. I think daily quest is too confusing because there are other well, daily quests in the game that yeah, don't apply yeah. to this uh, category. I like quest then. I prefer that. Yeah. Just call it ask for short. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Ask. Um, okay. Uh, this is a, an om a scary, ominous thing. Certain quest battles can no longer be undertaken using limited jobs. No. I didn't even know this was a thing. No. Me neither. I can't do into the cold. Oh. With Blue mage. What the hell? <laughs> Good. You never could. You would, it would be irrelevant in, in Into the Cold because you're not even playing yourself. No, <laughs> true. Uh, for leaves, oh, my favorite update. New tradecraft and fieldcraft leaves. Uh, and this is my least favorite thing because they hate leaves and they yeah. hate everything that has to do with leaves. Experience points rewarded using a disciple of the hand class or fisher at level 90 or above to complete a leave with a level requirement below 90 has been capped at 1,000. Mm. Womp womp. Was it's this a big so, issue where, like, at like, level people were leveling using old leaves so hard? Like, mm. use our new leaves. Uh, well, just like, um, how you turned, um, uh, Danish, yeah, um, or Swedish. Um, one of the things that, um, I like about this that they this was relevant, this happened in, um, uh, Shadowbringers as well because we're in a new region, they have new leaf plates. Uh, yeah. Oh god, I need to go look at them. Oh, okay. someone put it out. <laughs> Every expansion, by the way, has different map borders on the map. <gasps> I like when you open it up and you look at the the. Never there's, there's, that before. Yeah, oh. just look at it. It's actually really neat. Oh. They're, they're very intricate. Okay, that's something I'm to, have to look forward to after this. Mm -hmm. um, all right, uh, fates. New fates have been added. Oh my god, it looks like a it's living snake ball from sack. the trailer. It's the snake from the yeah. From I hate it. It's the snake from the 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 benchmark. Benchmark, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a ball creature. I uh, don't like it. Okay, uh, bicolor gems. It's all here, folks. Everything. It's, oh my oh, God! The oh, shared this is window time, opens immediately. And actually, yes, finally, there, there, there is maybe like a second delay. But then, when you close mm -hmm. it again, and you need to open it, because that's what you do, because you keep, you check your progress, it opens instantly. After finally, we can start time. doing shared ah! fate because the system's not shit anymore. Hooray. Also, the the fact that like you get more bicolor gems when there's when there's the experience bonus, or if if you have the twist of fate as well, will also increase the amount of bicolor gems. The yes. fact that those affected as well, great. That, this yes. is what I've always wanted. Oh, Finally, yeah. fates are good. Yeah, that's one of the best parts was the boosted uh, bicolor gem um, thing. Mm -hmm. That yeah. like, oh my god. Yeah, I've been doing so many of them. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. I'm doing those fucking fates, boy. <laughs> yeah, and then. <laughs> Yeah. Also, we should say that there are more ranks to level up through, but they have less re less fate requirements. It's not just six. And then the overwhelming, do 60 now. Yeah. <laughs> Boo. Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Boo. It sucks. No. Make it hard again. We were again. talking about this recently as to how, maybe just on a normal stream, as to how they should have a better progress. And no, we were talking about because of the relic. We were talking about the relic last week, mm -hmm. saying that they should have like mm. different steps with these, and they did. Yeah, they did. So very nice, uh, very good update to shared fates. Uh, again, um, well we said this: fates are kind of bonus, gives you extra gemstones. Um, the the bonuses was... also apply to old zones, which I'm very glad. I thought it was only going to be for oh, new oh does, does it? Does? I have no. Oh, okay, that's, that's great. good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the game client also, like I said, the game client will now respond more quickly when opening the shared fate window or changing between categories. Uh, large scale fates that take place at fixed locations will now also appear on the map, like regular oh. fates. 
So yeah, it's interesting. So, Insane. They never did. Why? It was supposed it's to be the, like, um, like a it, challenge. Because this, these it. these were supposed to be in the same style as um uh Curl Regina um uh Ixion and Odin, except yeah. they changed how they functionally worked. Come Shadowbringers, where they'll always be in the same place. Yeah. Mm. but they oh, didn't yeah, change right. the in-game system of it not appearing. But I guess they've just decided. Well, if they're not going to move, there's no point in hiding it. Yeah, That's exactly. Right. Yeah. I, I will say that. about large scale fates, I I mean, and I can't speak to this in 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 Dawn Trail. I hope they aren't all on artificial overworld arenas like they were for Endwalker. Mm, I didn't like how way. both Key and Diver Diver Deeper were both on squares. I like I didn't mind it with Arcaeotania in um the Tempest because of the fact that it was specifically tied to the fa- the mechanic of being pushed off. I thought that was cool that, like, being pushed off and killed from, like, fall damage was a mechanic in the overworld. Mm. Oh, right, yeah. In a slight way, I, I kind of... I liked the, you know, when you had to go hunting for Ixion and... Well, you still mm-hmm. have the hunt. I like that. You too. did that with hunts, though. Yeah, yeah. That, no, that is true. I just thought it was a cool, a cool little, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. social thing. Where it's like, oh, I found I him. Do, oh, cool. I do miss having, like, I wish they had, like, still one of those fates, you know, like the. Yeah, fates mm, I agree. These, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, they've made uh, updates to uh, Treasure Hunt. Uh, Yo, so, uh, new, new map. Skin. Yeah, these are. Luba skin and. Luba I have to say. There are there are certain names in the expansion mm. right now, location names that keep me up at night now. I, like I, yeah, I agree. I, I, I don't know character how to... names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, I have no sometimes idea. Sometimes the X is name. a sh, and sometimes it's like a ch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, I don't know if it's just the characters mm. just choosing to pronounce yeah. it differently, or if it actually is. Yeah. I don't know how transferable this is to your understanding of language, Rollo. Like, are you able to like? guess at how a lot of these words are pronounced or are you just as lost as us for the most part but a lot of it is more related to like mainland indigenous language and less yeah. like just mm-hmm. general, yeah, so. yeah 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 that's because i i have some experience with it but not as much as others from those areas might right do the ac- accents sound real to you or do they sound no. put on oh they <laughs> i feel bad saying it. it's it's good voice acting but the voice direction they sound like Simpsons gag characters being told to put on a Mexican okay. accent. Yeah. <laughs> Where they're like, okay, now I sound like, like a Mexican. Well, do we, yeah. do we know mean, if these actors are, like, do we know anything about other, the voice actors? Other than Wuklamat, I don't think we know anything no, about any of the new voice actors. I will say, I really like, um, what's his name? Um, Bakul Jaja, because he sounds like a villain in yeah. just like, like he sounds like a Saturday morning cartoon villain mm-hmm. that's he's specifically a going for the Yes he's a Pandito. Yeah. He sounds like the enemy <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah. It's it's not bad enough to be distracting. I, I wouldn't even say it's bad. It, it, they're they're good actors, like that. It's just some not really, really good voice direction. I mean, uh, to be fair, this isn't uh this is this is something that the majority of characters in this game suffer. It's it's because it's you know, his voice acting rather than just normal people speaking yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, like the fucking, you know... It's been so long since we've had a dark night. Yeah, no exactly. Oh, like I that. Mean, just, the, well, that the, brings me back to the swarthy sailor in the, on the boat. Yeah, the exactly. Star. He has the most deep fucking... Arr, voice. Yeah, yeah. And he has the most, like... You have to remember... ...normal-looking this, Midlander appearance. This if isn't you like a, that there's a little cartoonish... Like, that's not meant to be real life this people. Isn't so South, it's, it's this isn't actually South America. We're yeah. in a fantasy it's, world. It's just... Yeah. Um, and, uh, it's, it's a homage to... Yeah. Like, it, it's... Yeah. The way people it, it, speak it, in Al Amigo is not like... It, no one yeah. talks like most of them. Like, that's weird. Mm. Oh, Al Amigo. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also... Yeah, I, I just feel like them, up. though. Yeah. I thought Kona's uh, voice was quite well done. I think Kona is one of the better performances yeah. of the new characters added. Yeah, yeah I, I think because yeah. he's just more subdued in general, so it's like kind of his voice down. is deeper than I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's good though. They're, it's they're all around. Great. It's it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, and the whole yeah, it's cool. Anyways, uh, Excitatron and Shifting G- Gymnasium uh, is going to be linking you to level 90. Yeah. Snore. 
Uh, grand and free companies. Additional items will now be accepted for supply and provisioning missions. We know that, of course. That's true. Viper and Pictomancer symbol options have been added to the charge category of the company crest editor. Whoa! Are we changing? Mm. It's time. Let's talk about this for 20 minutes. The company mm. crest. So the thing about the company crest editor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, uh, when are we getting on this uh, to make the these? We started it. We've started Cafe it. Cafe started Good. on day one. All the right. thing is that one of the first ingredients um, is. Uh, Something that's in like the second half of one of the first zones. So we, none of us could get it for a while anyway. But we can start it slowly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I need to get a slave to do all the workshops. <laughs> okay. I need to trick <laughs> someone in this chat to do it all for me. I hate fucking uh, doing it. All right. <laughs> Please, well, we've, someone we've done that. give my sacrifice. Housing. Uh, ward classification has been adjusted for residential districts on certain worlds. Uh, oh, don't read through all that. No, we don't need to go no, through this. No, let's start from the top. Ward oh, 1. Shut up, Nick. <laughs> What's Ward 1? Well, eligible to say... purchase land is free companies. So the mm. thing about free companies, and we can go back to the crest editor, actually. Cause, no, Boo-boo. Boo-boo uh, crest. Can I say, I forgot that we had 30 wards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. I thought we were still only at 24. <laughs> Would yeah. you like the way they've like these ones just like what why why is one to six free companies but then also 25? Yeah, it's why is What this, are they I, doing? Why is the square Enix logic? I think logic? it's because these were additional ones that were added so they didn't want to shift uh, any of the old uh, classifications. God, so they just so made weird. it for the new ones. Oh, it's yeah, annoying, yeah. but I get why they did it cuz it's kind of awkward if, like, then you end up being, like, the only private buyer in, an, in a ward of free companies. Oh, That's wait. true. What I'm in ward, ward one. What and, ward are uh, we in? As a private. Has our changed? Is, are we going to get private buyers? Private? Aren't we one I of those? Oh, 11? You think We're not anyone that high. knows where oh. we are? So it's going to open for private. We might they actually might fill up not be alone anymore. Or was it 30? I thought we mm. were. Oh. Huh? And the, that might have been the... the buyers the, only. In Kagan, never where mind. the fuck do we live? Does anyone know? Oh god, I'll try he doesn't know his address. Please keep talking, and okay. I'll find out. Keep talking, you. keep talking, keep talking. All right, so uh, yeah, that that's. It looks like maybe wards are. Oh, all worlds in Dynamis Phantom. Oh, we're not even covered here. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We are not. We are not part oh, of Lord this. Ward twenty five. <laughs> yeah, they say this. If you if you read the red text, it the world, world ward I'm... classification for all other worlds will remain unchanged. All right. We panic for nothing. But we're in a free company zone. And, even if, anyone and anyway. even if it was changed, it wouldn't <laughs> yeah. mean anything for us. So we're Don't still worry ready. about it. Guys, make sure to join our free company if you're on right now. No, okay. don't work for them. <laughs> work for me. I'm lazy. <laughs> well, if they're on a European data center, they're probably not going to work for also, you. Also, <laughs> with your fucking how you sold that, with, yeah. I don't think people are going to yeah. join. Looking uh, for looking for slaves. Okay. <laughs> when when's LFS, that party finder opening? LFS, please. <sighs> The estate holder right system has been implemented. Players can now eject characters from their estate hall or garden and bar characters from entering their property. So I'm eject. Gonna, eject I'm is a eject, funny word. Greg. Yeah. Oh. Uh yeah, so that we've talked about this before. I like that it applies to all characters registered to the account, not just the I think ones that's really that you've good. ejected. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. It's uh, you would think that somewhere they would flub up, but they actually did it right this time. Yes. Yeah. After entering the lottery for an estate, viewing the placard for a different plot before confirming the result of your en- your entry will now remind you of the estate address of the plot you bid on. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know that. Well, there you go. This is good for people with the memories of, like, goldfish. Me. So that, that's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I mean, that's exactly what I was thinking, but I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> uh, furnishings from the 14 Furnishing Design Contest has been wow. added. Wow. Uh, I thought and those were the grapes. Great? I thought they were grapes <laughs> <Yeah>. at first. <laughs> yeah. I think they're wisterias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they are not wisterias. Wisteria um, chandelier, uh, which is interesting. Very whimsical. Uh, Sorry. There are just like neon bars in the background of this second show. Yep. Yep. Some, yeah, that might that might um posters. what the hell my RGB light bars gear game. Yeah, my game <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. I can't be and my SQ uh, sofa. Like, That's um, how I always have it. That that couch. Wow. Uh, Why is it so askew? No one has their Why couch it... like that. N- no. Why is it not lined up with the cat the fucking hundreds of drawers? Yeah. Behind? Yeah. My uh, like medical supplies. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, like a, a post office. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff in here. Look like at the size of 
the shelves. <laughs> That's massive. How do you, you know how do you tall reach the we top are in ones? this game? Yeah, you have you, to climb. You, you need like a ladder for this. I need, I need my brew mixing bowl. Oh, I need <laughs> my Rogadin friend <laughs> to stand I, on my other Rogadin friend. But I, yeah. I, I like the the one behind the the couch. If you like, it looks like a, like an like an archive thing or something. It's pretty cool. Mm, I guess. Uh, it, or like one of those Amazon drops. I, I will say I like. Oh yeah. I like more furnishing that is floor to wall, like floor to ceiling. Sorry, mm. like uh, my house has a bunch of the bookcases that are like this. So I kind of like the idea that I'll be able to mix it up with other types of. Mm. Like, shelf, I agree I with guess. that. Yeah, when they just by how practical some of them are. When they double the uh, furnishing limit, uh, this oh, I, I can't wait to great. use some mm -hmm. more furniture because we've been at the limit Please. for so long. Do it for outside at the least. Oh god. Outside needs to Outside it's, is priority, yeah. Yes. Uh also look at this cozy thing. The That's not a little tree. Well not a tree house, like a little this cozy elevated. thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Like a It's patio, like an open like a... den thing. Yeah. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. But, uh... I like the I like the unattached oh, gate in the background, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> yes, uh, it's, very... it's blocking entry to my den. <laughs> to, is that a pool blocking it? Like an it's like a pool? Like, it's a very shallow pool. I don't know pool. if it's a water. Yeah. Mm. I like the Zen garden. Yeah, that's mm. cute. That's cool. Um... That could go well with that thing that does the nice relaxing, like, clonking noise. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the bamboo <laughs> the thing. The bamboo thing, yeah. Mm. I love that. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, more of new furnishings. Uh, th oh, notably, I, forgot. I need to buy. I need to buy my Thaliac portrait now. <laughs> yeah, all the twelve have been oh, added yeah. as portraits now, so you can you can make your mm. your altar, I guess. Nayla, you, you know what to put in the soup kitchen, please. Oh, he already has. He's he Menfina already has it. Menfina. You need more. I need new stuff in the goon cave, please. Okay. Okay. Well, let me know who you need. All in there. of the. There's Minfilia still on the wall as well. Don't Minfilia worry. is still in there, so you know. There, more soup can I'll be put made. Tyra as well. Uh, crafting oh, no. facility furnishings can now be used by crafting <laughs> classes up to level ninety. Uh, if you still use that, monstrosity uh, of a striking I hate dummy. Yeah, the new <laughs> striking dummy level one hundred. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, my new Alienware laptop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, new orchestrion rolls and new aquarium fish. Look, look at them. Look at the fish. They look silly. They're so round. Uh, they better be added to the Eorzean Aquarium soon. I need to see them. I right. love visiting that place. Uh huh. Oh, sorry, the Eorzean Aquarium. Sorry, what are you talking about, Roland? We've talked about. You we've know talked that, about we've talked about it before. It's that person's house that just has every single fish in the game. Oh right. Yeah, you, know, you can't just say we've talked about that before. Do you know how much we've talked about on this show? It's I, been ten years. <laughs> I think okay. you even visited on stream. It's not been that long. I don't. No, remember. we didn't. I don't remember I didn't any remember. stream that we do. It's been one year, Matt. Um, all right, a new seed for flower pots as usual. Now we're getting uh, sunflowers. I'm surprised it's taken oh! that long. Sunflower. So this said garden sunflowers. I wasn't sure if that meant that we had a previous sunflower and this is a new variant, but apparently it's the first time we've had them, which did surprise me. Yeah, that is surprising. So uh, yeah. not. I don't know if sunflowers should be colors other than yellow. Mm. No, I, I mean, but also the the center where the seeds. Oh yeah. Will be. Looks really weird. It does, yeah. Huh. Mm. Well, it looks plastic. I these, think these are plastic. These are you're growing plastic <laughs> flowers. Uh, that's fine. New prices are available for purchase using MGP. Yeah, that's right. You can buy <laughs> it's, it's it's just the only th new things. It's only the headgear. So new types of glasses you can buy for MGP. Yeah. And if you want the rest of them, they're from the NPCs in the first three in the starting city states that sell the racial gear as well. Right. That's right. all of yeah. the headgear you can get for now. Also, yeah, update uh, all the red mage artifact gear can all be bought for MGP. Of course, that's why they're, that's yeah. what they're showing off here. So comes with a cat girl a too. Yeah, it's a bold new update. Yeah. Wow. Uh, very very exciting. Um, the following, that's not for audio listeners, it's a joke. Uh, also for visual listeners. Visual listeners? Visual, visual listeners? listeners? It's also visual a listeners. Joke. Any visual, visual listeners? People, watch, people, people watching the wave sign of this podcast. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, that one's for the stream smellers. Those are the real. Oh, oh, yeah. oh that's right. That's right. Um, they've added new cards, NPC uh, opponents. Uh, you can engage yeah, them in new areas, all. and you know the usual. I've only shit. seen one so far. I want more, please. Yeah. Um, also, female Hrothgar. 
Listen. I saw them as beautiful female Rothgar. <laughs> I, you know what? Same. I am just an awestruck. There's like a specific type of, of Rothgar. Like a, all I can describe it as is like a snow leopard milk. Yes. And yes. it's like it. I I can't I can't be looking at that man. I'm trying to play the video <laughs> game. Please. If you're making like the, the the ones like on the right, like the the Pikachu's, I'm not bothered. But if you're making the the lost the Pikachu's. Like, those ones looking like her on the left, they look so good. Yeah, you. Can I? There. I can't be doing this, man. I know. Okay, so that's. I would, I just need to ask because there's there we we saw it in the trailer uh the mm -hmm. the launch trailer this is for male um rothgar why are there so many pink rothgars <laughs> yeah <laughs> raw pink like uh, pink. i kept thinking that in it's Mela's voice a, in my head it's raw just pink a, every time i saw them <laughs> it's just a color that they come in yeah it's i guess disgusting. it was just it's just very jarring it was just it's like how there are like Puke green Rogan. You can't judge people for the color that that's, they are. That's true. They're that's like true. they're like they Frankensteinian look, though. They look they're, like you a know. giant shrimp. Frankensteinian. <laughs> Someone draw that, please. Oh God. <laughs> um okay anyways yeah so yeah the rough gals they are here and they're great we love them people Except are for the cool. Pikachu's. we're very pleased or yeah. like raw pink ones okay yeah the raw pink ones they are shrimp uh <laughs> Uh, introducing hairstyle that you have seen before, but here it is Whoa. in a new var variant. Uh, put the, um, put the really... slider so it's like in the middle of his face. They really put one of the most <laughs> exciting ones in the, if the from the hairstyle design contest. I think, is this the first one from the new hairstyle design contest making it into the game? I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like that's a nice is. hairstyle. It's the one guess. with the undercut. I think we talked yeah. about uh, it. It sucks. I mean, <laughs> It's not bad. I should. I'm sorry, the artist who made it. It is good. It's just there were it's so unexciting. many. It's yeah, another it's short hairstyle. Oh, it's like a okay. I can see. I mean, okay. It's okay. I guess. Uh, like it. It didn't have to be the other curly haired ones, but like at least one of the more interesting ones. Come on. <laughs> no, the interesting ones tend to get tied behind more interesting content, not like yeah. yeah. That's true. And then, of course, this uh, this is the... Uh, yeah, that's just the trailer. That's hair. a little... Hair. Yes. A little bun. Yeah. It, it, that's a it looks okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, they've managed to do... They've managed to take a long haircut, but make it a short hair piece yeah. again. They yeah. love got, short hair. Yeah. It's got two dangling ahoge or whatever. Gets yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I will say... Really they... highlighting that Vieira forehead, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they... I to plan on that thing. <laughs> I think I mean I I can see why they prefer short hair because long hair just clips like a yeah yes I like more long hair though I wish we or more interesting like ponytail hairs and stuff as well yeah 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 I mean I'm I mean I will say as someone that has chosen the Alamegan gown as part of my main glamour for this expansion draper draping things in this game don't always look great no. in cutscenes no <laughs> oh. Don't worry, Gogi. I look amazing when it's a bit windy in my flowing robes as they just go behind me. This weird, like, it's so stupid looking. <laughs> uh, okay, they've um, okay. So they've made uh, adjustments to the trust system. Kryle is now an avatar NPC, uh, so you can. That means mm -hmm. avatar NPC means that's the one. They're the ones you level. Level. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can. I've not really them. done these, but I'm. When, since they added in the glamour, I'm kind of thinking I might go back and level I mean, them all. I only ever do this uh, during in patch like point five eight or whatever yeah. when they make it so that it's only two dungeons, two dungeon runs to level up any of them. Uh huh. That, yeah, to level up and yeah. get an upper level, it's so. Mine is very far behind though. Because if you don't wait until then, Mela, it takes like six dungeon runs for any one character to get a level ah, that's yeah. two, two right. times now, consuming if it was at the same pace that your own characters leveled when you're doing your alt jobs or whatever that'd be fine yeah but it takes too mm. fucking long and i will never just do it too long. i refuse <laughs> but it's nice that they added the glamour system yeah i'm curious as to what the new glamours will be yeah yeah beachwear mm. you should order mm. you should order that's gonna motivate me mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay so Justinian topless uh it's changes to wondrous mm. tales uh not really worth this is the usual stuff they've just um changed the duties and um recategorized it like e the, like for example the top one eden's gate has all four mm. it but you they used still... to pick two now it's just dean's gate 
Yeah. yeah. This will only happen once you hit level 100. I was annoyed when I saw that and saw some of the individual duties mm-hmm. still. Oh. I also don't necessarily... I mean, I sort of understand why they did this. I don't like that they refer to them as Alliance Raids Expansion when all of the Alliance Raid series have their own name. Yeah, yeah. true. I don't like that either. Yeah, that's... yeah. I also don't like high-level dungeon ruler. I mean, we'll get to that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, sightseeing log has been added as usual. Uh, Skywatcher NPCs. Oh, speaking of sightseeing log. Yeah? You don't seem like you want to hear about the sightseeing <laughs> log. <laughs> Go on. I, I don't do the jump puzzles in Tuliolal until you get the sightseeing log. <laughs> because oh. one of the, something that stuck with me was that in Tuliolal, I know that you would never see this, but in Shout... I saw someone just yell, I have to do it again! Oh. <laughs> That's yeah. very funny. That's that right? I guess I'll wait. Yeah. Uh, Too eager okay. to jump. Yeah. Uh, Skywatcher NPCs, of course, uh, as well. Finally, I can check the weather. Yeah. Uh, they've made some adjustments to Island Sanctuary. When selecting the plus button on the Isleworks agenda interface, players can now choose whether set agenda or supply and demand is the default window that opens. Uh, from the all keeps cool. index, select sanctuary settings, then default agenda settings under the workshop tab. There you go, Better quality of life. I mean, even as someone that likes Isle, I- Island Sanctuary, Lakeel, don't bother reading these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on then. Uh, battle system. The level cap is 100. Uh, they've yeah. added Viper and Pictomancer, uh, which we will yeah. not talk about yeah. right now. Uh, actions has been added. Actions and traits have been adjusted. Uh, job, they've adjusted guys. the layout for the Blue Mage spellbook. Uh, I've not actually checked that yet. No, me neither. Uh, no. They've made some adjustments to limit breaks. Monks will no longer change position when executing Final Heaven, and Dragoons will oh, no longer change position sense. when executing Dragon Song Dive. They don't seem to like so, moving you with abilities anymore. N- no. no. Yeah. Well, supposedly, there's a very specific reason I've heard for this. And you know, in and it would it was something that might have affected us if we ever got to le- limit break three in P12S. Um, you know how Athena sometimes makes parts of the platform disappear? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes when dragoons or monks did their limit break, they would move forward, but she's not she's not on solid on top of solid ground, so they would uh, die with limit break. Oh, I see. <laughs> that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it it's already a very system. long animation lock too, so I I, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. They've also buffed tenacity. Tenacity's effect on damage dealt, damage received, and HP restored has been increased. Are we melding tenacity now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is crit dead, we're guys? So back. Is, we're so back. is tenacity the move? When you say it's been increased, is this like, how significant? Is this like, no, 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 are we actually melding it now? Or no? like, I knows? loved all the crazy theory crafting that went into this even before the expansion went live. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hopefully it's worth something now. Yeah. Um, certain status effects granted by class and job actions will now be removed when changing areas or entering an instance duty. That's fine. Cool. Okay. Uh, the effect of certain monster <laughs> NPC actions have been adjusted. That's mysterious. What, yeah. what does that even mean? Uh, the armory bonus granted below level ninety has been increased from fifty percent to a hundred percent. So more XP. For That's once, it won't apply blocks. to me. Oh, I'm supposed for Viper actually. Yeah. And Pictomancer. Viper and Pictomancer. Yeah. Makes sense with how many jobs we have now. You gotta. At some point, you got to make it a little bit easier to make these alts go up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In accordance with the increased level cap, new world and preferred world character bonuses now apply to all jobs at level 89 or below. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then new oh, enemies. Cool. There's a selection. That's yeah, so oh, weird. Uh, caked two up of them are quark. caked up. They are caked well, up. The, yeah. Yeah. The, the living agave plant is also caked up, but they're hiding it. They're hiding it. You can kind <laughs> of see it. You can see it on those legs. You know. Mm. Um, then there's a robo lady. Yeah. I, maybe she's don't caked up too. Oh, I don't sweetness. like the hammerhead crocs, as they're called. The bottom left one. Disgusting creature. Yeah. I love oh, him. Okay. He's the, cool. Have you guys? I think it was in Cosmouka. Is that the the river one, right? Yeah. Is that yeah, yeah. The, yes. Yeah. In the southern part, have you seen those little like kelpie, like um, horse birds almost? Yes. They look really cool. I oh, wish that's. I, hope I can't them remember out. off the top I, of my head. They're like in the Marsh River. They they look really really cool. I think I've mm-hmm. seen them in the distance. I just haven't approached them yet. Um, new dungeons, of course. Yeah. Uh, not going to through those. In accordance Spoilers. with... Uh, oh, that no. One. At the very bottom of that, after beginning a boss encounter in Dungeons, newly introduced in patch oh, 7.0, yeah. the shortcut warp will take place, plays to the boss area's entrance. Great quality of life Why update. The f- wasn't good. that the case before? 
Like what? To make you feel shame. Yeah, just, that was all it was. <laughs> it was very weird. Yeah, well, I'm not, you know, what if it's, you know, if Alizé dies, I will eventually die as well. And she has done. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Alizé. Thanks. Shout out to Alizé. In accordance with the increased level cap, players can now gain experience from level 90 dungeons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. New yeah. trials. Uh, Boilers. Long bird uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> Unreal trials have been temporarily disabled. Because that's what we do oh, with Unreal Trials. What do you trials. mean Unreal Trials? Plural. Do you mean Unreal Trial? <laughs> yeah, trial. Yeah, I was going to say, that's such Add a strange way of referring to this. Yeah. Why? I'm sick of this system. It's infuriating. Do a roulette. Do Life something. Life almost for an extreme. Yeah. That's so lame. Very weird. God. Um, players will now receive the power of the Echo in the Abyssal Fracture and the Gilded uh, Araya. Ah, la, 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 la. Uh, <laughs> and of the Abyssal Fracture Extreme. So, there you go. Cool. Uh, and the Echo in Pandemonium uh, and Abyssal ah. Savage has been increased to... We're going to get Ray Team. <laughs> no. Time, guys. We, Ray you Team, we're going it. back, guys. All right. Uh, Hope you're not playing Gauntlet on Tuesday. <laughs> Stone Sky Sea, uh, the, the uh, end, uh, sorry, uh, Dawn Trail um, equivalent is called the Spire of Trial. That's been added. Uh, Why did they make this sound... Like a new system with the Spire of Trial. Why do they make it sound better? They, they give it. They give it a new name every expansion, Mayla. For yeah, some reason. Doesn't this one feel like? It does sound like it's content. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it sounds like it sounds like a deep dungeon. Like yeah, it sounds yeah. like something good. Mm. Uh, the weekly restriction on receiving cracked Anther clusters upon clearing Thalea has been removed. Uh, new cool. elite marks have been added. They look. Oh! They look cool. I've already seen that horrible fucking giant Calibri in the overworld. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, yeah. I've oh. seen a couple others around. Um, I'm loving... I, this is the best part when all the A-ranks are spawned immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. around. It's so fun. A big it. wasp. Yeah. Killed a couple guys. So, oh, yeah. so the hunt is on. Uh, you can do that from level 90. Well... From level ninety, you you know how you know how the hunt system work. You you don't mm -hmm. actually get yeah, the, yeah. the it's big ones until it's sacks of nuts again. Nuts. Um, a viper and pictomancer arms are now available from the following deep dungeon vendors. I know that's important for all of you to know. Uh, they're in South Strad, Ruby Sea, and Mordona. Who cares? Elegant tome. Well, actually, Ooh. you might care. You, maybe you. What want if I get weapons. Kinna or like the um, ethereal weapons? Could be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, elegant tombstones of aesthetics have been added, um, and there's not a there's not a picture of them here. What do you think of what elegant tombstones of aesthetics look like? The new tombstone okay. shape. Yeah, they're like a, they're kind of like a, for a key bit. sort of thing. They're a bit like a well, poetic they're... that's been like mushed up a bit. Well, no, they're like half circles now. They're yeah, but yeah. they're kind of they're, they're okay. I don't mind them. Ha half moon with a USB. That's that's what. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got like, cause it's got the nubbin at the bottom, and then it's got the the top y bit. Yeah, yeah. We don't need to talk more about that, but you know, mm. it's usual shit. You have to exchange them for Looks fine. poetics on the new ones. If you, yeah, can't wait to grind them. Uh, okay. The following additions and adjustments have been made to the duty finder. Uh, I don't know if that's worth talking about. Uh, category names on the duties list within each have been reorganized. 6.x duties can now be undertaken using the unrestricted party option, and when undertaking duties using the unrestricted party option, players can now elect to leave a duty even during combat. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so no more waiting to die. No. Yeah. Uh, so uh, also, uh, as usual, the raid finder now will only have all the old uh, Endwalker Trials uh are out of the mm. raid finder uh and only oh, 7.0 trials will be in there uh oh yeah sorry yeah the ultimates are still in their own they're in their own category under yeah, yeah that'll the, remain there forever yeah, yeah, yeah. uh okay this is uh there's some updates to the duty finder that's worth talking about so new duties for dawn trail have been added to the duty roulette expert duty roulette leveling and duty roulette trials Duty Roulette level 50, 60, 70, 80 <laughs> dungeons and Duty Roulette level 90 dungeons have been combined into Duty Roulette high level dungeons. Okay, the only reason I talk don't about like this. this is that's not true wording. Maybe call them <laughs> Duty Roulette capstone dungeons or something. Yeah. Because they're I not knew all, this would be your of problem. Them are high level I, I thought this as well. I don't think that they're. I mean, I think some of them are necessary. Uh, like difficult for the average person i think still yeah. even even to this day i think the burn is difficult for pe first timers 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's good that it's not just continued the trend. But yeah, this had to change. I, you know, at some it's point, just an unusual this name. This would have become ridiculously long over uh, time. Uh, this dream is then. dead, though. It could have been 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and eventually 50, 60, 80, 90, 100. Yeah. Yes. What yeah. fucking oh. nightmare is that? That's not a dream. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's called High Level Dungeons. Maybe they'll change Instead it Instead of Capstone again. Dungeon or something like that. Yeah. I would have preferred Capstone Dungeon as well. Yeah. The type and number of elegant tombstones received from each duty roulette category have been adjusted as expected to now include aesthetics. Uh, and also the duty roulette high level dungeons, because that's new, you get 100 elegant tombstones of poetics and 120 elegant tombstones of aesthetics. I'm uh, doing it at level 100. Yes, yes. The requirement and rewards for the adventurers in need bonus has been adjusted for duty roulette leveling and duty roulette alliance raids. Uh, to include so, the, new, um, the new turn ins for materia. Okay, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, nothing crazy. Yeah. Uh, the rewards and stuff, it makes no sense. Uh, okay, oh, Alliance they were Raid. New... Uh, They're called this Nova Clusters and Prismatic Clusters. Uh, the uh, adjustments for uh, Alliance Raid uh, Roulette has changed. So before, players had to meet the average item level requirements commensurate, commensurate with the level of their current class or job at the time of registration. But now they need to meet the highest item level requirements among the alliance raids uh, they can enter at their current class or job level at the time of registration. So you need uh, to be... It'll marginally help, yes. but we're still hmm. going to probably see Circus Tower. And I've along. only had one Crystal Tower in like the five runs I've done of uh, the roulette. Or not, sorry, five is like three. Um, insane. Like you're I'm just mostly, doing sorry. even outside of the yeah, yeah, sorry. rewards. Um, oh, it's I got Rabnaster, Rabnasty. Oh yeah, people Rabnasty. fucked it up. It was great. They, oh, yeah. they fuck it up more than they used yeah. to because people don't do it anymore. Yeah, and they're playing I like Viper and a pick that have no clue what they're fucking doing. So it's yeah. taking forever. It I was so done, good. <laughs> I haven't done Alliance Raid, but I did do Trial. I got Bob Reacher. People don't know what they're doing. No. I liked my. T I liked my tank not stacking me at me for the the dual tank buster and just letting dps die alongside me <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah so pvp uh pvp actions obviously for viper and pictomancer uh, uh, they have uh, added new they, items yeah. in exchange for trophy crystals and wolf marks they've added two new items for trophy crystal it's the um viper and pictomancer <laughs> framers kit so don't get excited oh shit. and right. the, for the wolf marks it's as far as i can tell it's only new materia I haven't. Woo! I didn't find yeah. anything else actually exciting. Okay, I see. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe like weapons for Viper and Pitmaster as well, possibly. Okay. Yeah. Series five will end and series six will begin. Yeah. And the mount, the uh, that's oppressor. the mount we get. Yeah. And also you get a, a coyote, a cute dog. Minion. Yeah, that's true. Or uh, something like Stinky or something. I can't remember his name. Yeah, Stinky. Uh, Crystalline Conflict Season 11 and, uh, will end and a pre-season will begin like we've talked about before. This has been... Mm -hmm. No, literally no one cares about the seasons anymore, I think. No, no, no. Okay, uh, on to items. Items have been added. Uh, this is the... Uh, this is the There is content gear. in this game. That's the aesthetics gear. I yeah, think. yeah. Uh, due to the volume of items added with the release of patch 7.0, they will not be listed in the patch notes. Thank you. Oh, yeah, right. what's the point? <laughs> uh, new recipes, and again, due to the volume of recipes added with the release of patch 7.0, they will not be listed in the patch notes. Yeah. And then the face wear, has any of you like tried it? I'm assuming Georgi has already yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. tried it. Well, like, they don't, I've they don't have my... Pencil, they don't have my preferred set of glasses, so I'm not using them. Okay. I only use them on sets that already had hats. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but, right. I'm not. No, I'm not replacing the. Good. No, they're not. I'm not replacing the glasses on any sets that already had glasses. Right. Okay. Maybe the two from the. I've not got the two from the racial gear vendor, but the ones from the gold source. Oh my god! Like the thick rim glasses <laughs> are like aviators goggles. They're awful. Don't worry. The ones from the 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 racial gear vendor is not that exciting. One of them is just a monocle man. Unless yeah. you want that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's at least a little interesting. Hey, Yorgi, uh, you can cosplay as uh, your favorite character, your uh, Scrooge McDuck. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that I can finally complete my Lara Croft cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. That too, obviously. But hello, Scrooge McDuck. Just get that yeah. hat. <laughs> um, <laughs> the following uh, fashion accessories have been converted into face wear. 
Fa uh, false oval spectacles, false shaded spectacles, false classic spectacles, and rose-colored spectacles. Need me them rose-colored glasses. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's from Ella. Um, so you, yeah, you need to go to a calamity salvager to exchange them into the new for, uh, from fashion accessory to mm -hmm. face gear, head yeah, gear, yeah. face wear. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I'll go and check because I definitely want them rose-colored specs. Yeah. That, um, I'll be wearing them forever. Mm -hmm. The the You're not wearing them already. No, didn't know I could get them. There. The the files of Fantasia have been uh, have now have a little icon on them to indicate whether they are a character Fantasia or a retainer fant Fantasia. That's good. Uh, so that was confusing. Yeah, I will I also say I don't know what the retainer Fantasia symbol is supposed to be. It's a bell. It's a summoning bell. Uh, the yeah. bottom part is a. I mean, the top it's part the I can say I don't know what the purpose. The bell. Is yeah, the it's the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's the retainer yeah, yeah, yeah. icon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the retainer icon. I've never seen that before in my yeah. life. The retainer icon is just a summoning bell, yeah. Uh, certain items can now be sold, desynthesized, or submitted for expert delivery missions. That's just pretty much anything that was just from 6.5. Yeah. 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 Grade 11 and 12 materia. Oh, I've not even looked at these yet. Oh, no, I haven't oh, looked at them. Oh, something is so exciting. <laughs> I love looking at the new materia pictures. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, they're going to look so crunchy and shiny a bit. Yeah, there's... Oh, yeah. God, so they haven't excited. really been going for that because the aesthetic has kind of just been changing since they hit rank 8. It's not necessarily like where they were getting smoother and rounder. Oh, I love when they were getting oh. smoother, but then they had like adornment since... Oh, yeah. can't wait. Mm. Uh, the success rate for salvaging grade 9 and 10 material when using retrieve material has been increased. Yes, that's the usual thing. Cool. Grade uh, 8 dark matter is now oh, required to, to repair at level 91 to 100 gear. Thank fuck we didn't have to get a new type, type of dark matter yet. It'll probably happen with the next expansion because they made this change with Shadowbringers. Yeah. The grade yeah. 7 went, affected those as well. Yeah. Viper and Pictomancer have been added as required jobs for certain gear. Cool. Uh, and then there are items that are no longer unique, and they're all rings. Yep. Yes, rings. Yeah, all rings. All, all the, yeah, rings. Yeah. You can wear them now together. Yay. 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 Yeah, uh, they just make seeds together. Yeah. The final uh, item dying. Yeah. I, oh, we a mixed talk, bag here. We need to talk about this, because this is very <laughs> funny. So I love the new die system. However, <laughs> there are <laughs> some gear that uh, have been shafted a, uh, quite a lot yes. uh, in this update. There is, uh, I, my, like, there are many, there are, there are actually surprisingly quite a few pieces of gear that have this, like, very weird second die channel. One of my favorites was the one that I was shown yesterday for the, um, which gear was it with, um, with these? Um, there was one, one piece of gear oh, that's like, a, it has these things, you know? And at the mm, end, there are these two little, like, beads. And they, the beads on these are the diable part. That's it! I think, I think they spent a little bit of time working on a tool which uh, finds a second material type and just selects mm, yeah. it. Because I don't think that all of these have been human QA'd. <laughs> No, I can't believe that they would have like the thread on some buttons. <laughs> yeah, because I think that's what's happened with a lot of the shoes as well. Because like before, the first die channel was obviously most of just like what you see of the shoe, and a lot of them, the second die channel is the sole, which is presumably made of rubber. So that's like the material is like ah, another material to work with. Yeah, insane. I no one's looking at the sole of the shoe. <laughs> Yeah, some of them are definitely like, why did you even bother? Yeah, you could have yeah. spent the time for another item that people uh, might have wanted to have two tone uh, or two channels. And on some gear, it's like you can almost see what should be the obvious second die channel, but then it's just something completely different. On Luke <laughs> yeah. character, like the the he's wearing the um, it's the. Oh, it's from the, the Melian's uh, gear. Yes. Oh. yes. The, yeah, oh. the, from the, yeah. Yeah. You would think it dies. The other part, either no. the, the 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 shirt or the tie or the like waistcoat or whatever. No, it's just this random thing that goes across your chest. The sash. Yeah, there's like yeah. a sash that goes across. What? Why? Why is that the thing? <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's there's very strange. I can't remember exactly what it is. the adventuring sweater. I think it is. You think it was? It's, it's the sweater, and then it's got the scarf. You'd think it was the scarf yeah. that dies. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's like the little clasp that keeps oh, the all... scarf in place. There's some so definitely random. something's going on there with what they've what they've done. Yeah, L largely good though. I'll say the majority, of them, yeah, at least yeah. from what I can see, because I don't think there's like a a list. 
anywhere or like a a classification that you can use to go on like the there's no official list no yeah because no. all, all you the only way you know is by looking at him make sure he has like two circles yeah on the, yeah. On the right and that's mm. that's the only way you can know but um, proofing for a third die channel yeah but um i do think a lot of them look really good and you can do some mm. really nice oh stuff absolutely oh yeah i'm yeah i'm impressed with some of them it's the, fun going um, back to like the old artifact game and stuff because that dies really well. Yeah. The cryo looking gear from Island Sanctuary you get, like one of the last yeah, the gear awards. Yeah, yeah. That mm. dies really nice with the two channel stuff. I really yeah. love it. I really like that gear. I'm, that's the only reason I'm ever going to bother finishing Island Sanctuary. <laughs> yeah. It's worth it. It's, yeah. At least the gear's nice. Yeah. So, I mean, again, for the most part, second die channel, good. Uh, it's just. Yeah. Sometimes it's. Some it of it yeah. is a bit random. But yeah, weird, cumbersome menu a little bit, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, I, that, yeah. that's what I expected. It's very yeah. fourteen. The favorite yeah. died thing is neat, but yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I mean, it's cumbersome, but it's way more useful than it was previously. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, the furnishing, ceiling, wax, and letter set is now dyeable. Oh, thank you. Cool. Because um, I've been wanting to dye my ceiling wax for a long time, actually. Why is this I was thinking about subscribing. Finally. Finally. Or header because it because it might be the only furnishing item that is has had dying it added to it. It's just important, Rollo. Very okay. exciting, Rollo. It's very exciting. Mm. It's, for some of us, this is important. All okay, right. mm. the following items can now be re re uh, equipped regardless of gender. Uh, that's the the prince and princess you can gear. Be a Finally, or a princess. Yeah. There you Yay! Go. Yay! Uh, I how much you want to bet they're going to add items to this expansion that are also gender yeah, locked? Do the same. For some yeah. reason, they're when they're the same. next time they can unlock, then them. they can put that in the patch notes for the next expansion. Uh, yeah. the Isn't that the, the one that makes you look like the princess dress is quite horrible? I think it's it's very, mm. yeah, it's, I was, yeah, that's it's so it. gaudy. The princess dress. It's like a yeah. you're, oh, no. you're like now a you cake. Can... Hooray! You, sorry, what did you just say? It's the one that makes you look prager. Yeah, you, oh yeah, that's yeah, 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 right. now. Yeah, I'm. I hope people have fun with it. it looks nice. I mean, yeah, looks all right. It clips like a motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> to does. be fair, the princess gear is kind of nice though. Uh, mm, yeah, it's a bit gaudy, but that that set. For yeah, me, but, but it's like whimsical. That's yeah, to be. yeah, it's very like Disney. Can you exchange? <laughs> uh, I think I might have the princess's gear from something. I don't. Uh, you have the gear, don't you? Isn't that log so. station? Yeah, but I think no, someone bought did it. Did someone it. buy it for it? Did you buy yeah, it? I didn't oh. buy it. I think someone bought it. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I think for someone bought it for you because you said it was ugly. Oh, Maybe, yeah. There you go. That's, yeah. Uh, it was for the anniversary. Oh. Yeah, for one of our weddings, I think. Oh. Right. Uh, did I get the Prince one then, maybe? Mm. Probably. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, maybe I did. Yeah, oh, I, I did. Okay. Well, there you go. I think you did. Yeah. <laughs> I do have it somewhere then. Wow. Uh, Sundry Splendors, a one-stop shop for gear and items purchased in exchange for elegant tombstones and scripts, have been added to Old Charlian. So, uh, nice. there you go. Good choice. Go get that. Um, the layout of gear exchange menus have been unified. What gear exchange menus other than the one at, um... Uh, oh! No, I know what they mean! <laughs> I was like, I was thinking, is this when you hand in gear for seals? No, they're talking about just like um, tome exchange ones. I did notice this, but like how it it's much more logical. Like they all have like D O M D O L or D O L D O M weapons. Oh yeah, I know what you They've mean. They've made it more you mean easy on the, to navigate. On the, oh. You mean the, like the menu that pops up when you talk to a shop? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is it just like instead of the list it just it's it's just a window like how does what do you mean no it's not a window it's just more logical in terms of how they're categorized okay and it has their eye level too in the categories okay all mm. right interesting okay uh, i'll have to go check that out the following adjustments i did yeah because it was something that i was like something's different here when i talked to the razzit hand vendor but i was like i don't know what it is oh well, yeah <laughs> but i'll just keep going i bought gear on mm. friday for uh, my uh, was yeah, but you and you sent something. Sent something, something was, was different, but you didn't know. What, yes, exactly. But I didn't yeah. think it, any further. Yeah, it's like something like, oh, this should have been here from the start. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Uh, the following adjustments have been made to gear exchanges for elegant tombstones of astronomy, causality, and comedy. Gear that required the exchange of a base item and upgrade material can now be obtained directly in exchange for elegant tombstones of poetics. The augmented gear. Yeah. 
The base. My coins. They're worthless. The base items and upgrade materials for I such threw gear. them out already, Mela. Oh my god. Can no longer be obtained from Curious. shops, dungeons, or retainer ventures. Players who possess the base item, the base item for such gear, may upgrade them in exchange for a hundred elegant tombstones of poetics. That's cool because I don't think they've ever done that previously. No, I don't know if you've ever been able to just upgrade them with the hundred tombstones. That's very convenient. I like, that. Mm -hmm. I if, like um, it too. Yeah. I think they do it every expansion, but looking at the coins for the raid, it's always funny. It's like, hey, this used to be I considered worthwhile. Yeah. Now it's worthless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new items have been added to the inventory of Calamity Salvagers. Yeah, that's we've touched on that. Uh, new items are available for Calamity Salvagers in exchange for Silver Chocobo Feathers. Oh my god. This is a, this this is is a funny cool. change. The following items, which previously required a Silver Chocobo Feather, each for a single-handed weapon or shield, can now be purchased together f with a single Silver oh, Chocobo finally. Feather. Doctor's scimitar and warded round shield, and the cudgel and night prowler's target. Give me a refund. Yeah. I've bought like yeah. twelve doctor scimitars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you before, if you're if you played gladiator, or I think that's um oh. thaumaturge, yeah. you would need to use two silver feathers to get the same, the equivalent of gear that all the other jobs had. I mean, that's to be fair. That used to exist for um, lots of things for paladin, at least. Now you can yeah. craft. Like you used to have to craft. What? Let's say Zervon's. Um, what? What level I mean, is this gear? Th like, these are like, well, like this, is, this is this is how this is how Atali gear. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. It's low. Why would Don't you waste your feathers on that, please? Silver chocobo feathers on this. <laughs> uh, because At least you're new else. to the game and you don't understand what's value in this game. This Save is something the else. Gear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, Lakeel, it used to be a bigger trap. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. Good lord. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Verdon Scepter and Warlock's Buckler will no longer drop separately in the Aurum Veil and instead oh. drop together as Black Mage's Verdant Arms, level 47. They're basically yeah. doing what they did for Paladin yep. for Black Mage in yes. the level yeah. of the Conjuring. Yeah. Yep. Uh, new uh, items are available in exchange for societal currency from allied societies in 2.0 areas. Yeah, I that's... believe this is just the new um, uh, framers kits, but um, oh. I haven't checked myself. I see. Okay. Uh, the t the time until actions may be used after consuming certain med medicinal items have been reduced. Thank fuck. Oh, oh. it's so snappier now using. Oh, the, um... I see. Yeah, the, yeah. Finally, the medicine we can... or just food yeah because there's, just, like, yeah. there's like three seconds where you just your character can't do yeah, anything yeah and you remember you. why it's three yeah, seconds because they just... said we want you to see the animations we don't want any like weird animation cancelling <laughs> yeah. yeah all right because you're savoring the medicine mail as mm. it goes down mm. your throat yeah <laughs> savoring yeah. it in the, as my opener starts in the rain and, and remember savoring the days it when... as athena pelts you with spells <laughs> yeah. the medicine used to be like a 12 second buff or some bullshit and you'd already have wasted half of it in the animation <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Great uh, game. Uh, you can use you can use medicines now, Mela. You you don't have they they'll. They I do them use them sometimes when there's a chance we'll clear. Mm. It's the start though. You so you should be yeah. using them at the start. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but I'm not doing that when we're nowhere near the end of the they, fight. Rollo, like okay. when I do. Okay. They we are, need to know the fight, Rollo. Especially <laughs> Georgi is so frugal; um, he will not even use like current raid gear, uh, raid uh, food, until he thinks we're ready to to, to clear it. <laughs> I'm he not will wasting money use, uh, when I know that my reborn companions food. are too incompetent yeah, to clear the content. What yeah. the hell? I know, Rolo. I've just given up. I've just like, okay, you eat your egg or whatever, mm. and I'll just... I'll I eat. don't eat eggs. No, not you. I'm no, talking about I Mr. Moneybags over here, who's like terrified of using real, like, using money. I don't money. eat eggs. No. I eat free food that the game gave me. Yeah, in a realm of wars. <laughs> yeah. this... I ate that a long time ago, uh -huh, Lakeel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, during <laughs> during Omega. During Omega, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, the level cap for Disciples of the Hand and Land has been increased to level 100. <gasps> what? Uh, orange what? Crafter script and Orange Gatherer script currencies have been added to for Disciple oh. of the Hand and Disciples of the Land that are level one. I like the orange <laughs> scripts; they look purple, nice. Purple, yes. Purple and orange is a nice color combination. Mm. Yes, yeah. much nicer. I think white and yellow was the 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 bottom of the barrel for color color combinations of scripts. Mm. Yeah, probably heard it here though, first. <laughs> red and blue was pretty like grotesque. Yeah, really, I, I liked like red and blue. No I mean, red. red and blue are complementary colors. They 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 mm. should work together. 
The amount of type, the amount and type of crafters and gatherer scripts received from custom deliveries have been adjusted. Upwards or downwards? Who knows? <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't specify what. It's just been adjusted. Don't ask any questions. Uh, following changes have been made to collectibles. The experience points rewarded when delivering collectibles will be standardized per item. The amount received no longer being reduced at lower levels. Experience points rewarded oh, when using... Yeah. What? What? You... Uh, so, yeah. if you... So, there's no benefit in terms of leveling to get higher collectability? No. I guess not. The amount received no longer being reduced at lower levels. Is that your your character level, or is that the level to which you have increased its quality? It's not clear. No, it's not. I clear. don't really know what it means there. Also, I assume this means only for the House of Splendors, because we can see in the Waku Meki Meki, whatever it's called, Wachu Meki Meki, -meki, -meki, -meki. Mm -hmm. that that is based on your collectability as to how much XP you get. Yeah. Experience points rewarded when using a class at level 90 or above will uh, to deliver collectibles that are level 90 or below have been capped at 1,000. They're doing this weird thing again, mm -hmm. the capping thing, but eh, whatever. That's how they do it. Uh, new actions and traits have been added for Disciples of the Hand, obviously. Uh, they've removed the following crafter actions, Focused Synthesis and Focused Touch. Line. I've never seen any kind of macro or calculator. There's no reason to use... Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's essentially the same as two syntheses. It just requires you to use um, patience first. Yeah, well, it's a combo I'm action. No, it, it's a it's for observe. It, it yes, oh yeah, observe. Sorry, yeah. that's the so you word. Just, you just don't. I, I don't know. But, uh, it's whatever. Useless. <laughs> Good riddance. Rest in Bring peace. Back whistle while you work, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I miss that. Um, the following adjustments have been made to crafter actions. Um, uh, applicable to all crafter classes. Reflect, efficiency have been increased from 100 to 300%. Whoa! That's quite significant. Yeah, that's uh, quite big. Mm -hmm. Advanced touch, now acquired at level 68, which was previously 84. Uh, mm. And both standard touch and observe are now combo actions. And observe? So, oh, it has yeah, taken uh, the more, standard yeah, touch. Yeah, combo yeah. actions is nice. It I has taken over combo for, for these. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah okay. Because otherwise, I, I observe guess... would be nothing. <laughs> I mean, it would. Be... If you get a really yeah. bad RNG with um, the uh, condition, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. but, like make, but you. Just, uh, I don't. I, I don't observe would always have a place, I think. Yeah, sometimes. Just in case, it's nice to have things like that, just in case. Yeah, I mean, if you're not just following like macros made online, I can see why how people would think to use these. Well, sometimes yeah. you. Yeah, you need. You've just done an excellent, and now you wrong. have the like black mm, one. Or, yeah, and you. Yes, and exactly. The only thing you have left to do is to increase the quality. You have to observe for it to. Recover. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the categories under special recipes in the crafting log have been adjusted. So instead of restoration <laughs> one, two, three, four, it's now just called restoration. So, oh, there you go. That's good. 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 UI organization. That's yeah. Fine. Disciples of the Land, of course, new actions and traits. And the following minor and botanist actions can no longer be used when, you get, when a gathering point is at maximum integrity. Solid reason, wise to the word for miners, and uh, for botanist, ageless words and wise to the word. Well, He's world. Oh, so, huh? Wise to the world. Wise to the world. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, These were the skills, I believe, for both of them that increased um, integrity if it had been it decreased. So it assumedly just prevents you from using them when they're useless yeah. and yeah. wasting Which is nice. Yeah, That's a good fail safe. A new gathering so points, cheap, new shit. items, and then we talked about this window before. We don't mm -hmm. need to talk about it again. New fishing holes, new teaming waters. Uh, the bait and tackle window will now also oh my God, it's a new fishing. This bait. is interesting! A new form of bait obtained using the level 91 fisher action, Spareful Hand. Oh, I'm so curious as to how this plays out. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. Mm, you know what? My retirement I, plan. <laughs> I just have to say it here. Oh. And I've been too scared to say it oh. for so long. I don't know how fishing works in this <laughs> game at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, every, every time I've seen it, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I've never tried. Especially during ocean fishing. I've been like... <laughs> to be fair with you, Rollo... <laughs> I've like I've gained so much exp in ocean fishing like 
to the point where I'm being given loads of actions that I yeah. shouldn't know what do yet because I I'm just doing shitty ocean fishing. That know? is the only reason why I capped out fishing was from <laughs> ocean fishing. I definitely understand how you can feel that way because it's sort of how I feel when I tried to do an expert recipe once last expansion of the war. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. Well, it's also like <laughs> expert recipes are scary. Fishing fishing gets like so many updates that it like oh it we've, does. we've added it this new a thing. Lot. This fishing, new UI. fishing is the gathering class if you want to be. Yeah, I want something like interesting. interesting yeah. The, yeah. The thinking man gatherer. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I just, like fishing, but I also haven't. Like, I, I mean, want to I mean, get into fishing in a big time, like as a end game. I mean, even thing. spear fishing is a way more exciting version of just like gathering points. <laughs> yeah. For the bonus but, yeah. and minor. Yeah. Maybe this expansion, I'll I'll try. You can try go hollow. It's it's my retirement plan. Once I get all just I love 100. fishing. I I, I think highly recommend everyone. I want to love fishing, but I've left it because I know it's something I'll enjoy. And yeah. I, I still okay, remember. Fine. I still haven't finished the uh, uh, the Beast of Brewer's Beacon. Uh, that would be so easy for you now, Lucio. Yeah, I guess. Dude, so. you just mooch swig bait. Uh, just uh, whatever else. Yeah. Know, what, why, do you, why do you mooch? Why do you chum? Why, why <laughs> do you use precision gun that lowers a stat? I guess. But then, I don't know. <laughs> and then, but then I see shit like this, and I realize, oh my god, there is so much. I can't fish. wait to fill this. This is a lot. The only annoying thing about this is all of the like, for the majority of fish, it'll be like, oh, additional information, weather restrictions. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah. Well, it's not very helpful, then, is it? You, you I have think to discover it yourself. In general, you just have to use the fishing yeah. resource websites that are around here. Yeah, it's that's, just, yeah it, but that's it, a detriment to the game, I think. Yeah, like, it's nice that they added to it, but it's it still seems like there's a lot of specific stuff, especially well, like... That's just like real life, Mela. Fishers go oh, around yeah, telling yeah. each other, like, oh, that's the way you catch the fat chub. I don't know oh, what real gotcha. fish are called. Oh, my nickname in high school. Yeah. Uh, it was okay. Booger. Stop lying. Uh, all right. The following, following <laughs> increase in level cap. The following adjustments have been made to reward this the paint while ocean fishing. Level one to forty nine experience points. Level fifty mm -hmm. to ninety nine experience points, but also purple gatherer scripts. Level one hundred purple gatherer scripts. Orange gatherer scripts. Certain conditions must be met in order. Uh, sorry, must be met to obtain this reward. So there you, you go. probably need to like fish a certain, um, like a certain yeah. point. Like what I'd really love them. to have added in ocean fishing, um, which is probably not something they'll ever add, is do not obtain experience points while on this ocean fishing. <laughs> They're never going to do that. <laughs> no. You get I, so much I, XP. I, I don't crazy. like it because I want to just do it by fishing and enjoying the fishing. I don't enjoy ocean fishing. It's just I mean, press like one button over and over again and wait for the ocean to turn rainbow. I mean, I think... The there's no reason this shouldn't exist because it exists in other Final Fantasy games, just an accessory that prevents you from gaining experience, yeah, and it doesn't anything. have to be exclusive to fishing. No. Yeah, I would love that. Just so I can do ocean fishing without fear of being like seventy levels above the quest I'm on right now. Hmm. Uh, this is another uh, feels like uh, old 1.0 spaghetti or something. GP will no longer be reduced to zero when players are incapacitated as a non-gathering class. So, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. That is useful. To, yeah. Uh, don't like that. Spirit... Don't really like GP still in this game. Really? I feel like. It's tight. I mean, it's specifically for collectibles, mainly, yeah. really, at this no, point. It really know, makes sense when you're like... doing collectibles. It's like crafting. You have GP. To... Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, but... it's to game you. You need, you need like to, to manage your, your GP. Yeah, no, I just. I prefer. And also. Uh, crafting to prevent... points, and I'll say that specifically. It's all. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> It's also to prevent uh, bots from getting... Oh, 100%. I know why it exists. Yeah. I, I, it's just when crafting is like so kind that it refreshes you per craft, whereas gathering is, has lots of dying time. It's just, uh, yeah. just annoying. Because mm -hmm. uh, imagine if, if it refreshed immediately, uh, bots would that. just be able to use the like bountiful harvest on, yes. the, on everything, well, yeah, and yeah. They would, it would be over. Uh, yeah, 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 spirit know. bond gained when gathering will now be based on gear's equipping level rather than its item level. Following this adjustment, spirit bond bonuses when gathering at unspoiled or legendary nodes has been adjusted. Nice. Cool. Okay. Players will now receive a bonus to spirit bonding when landing on a uh, landing a big yeah. <laughs> landing on a big fish or a legendary fish. So there you go. Uh, well, that's interesting. Nice that you're rewarded for it in a way. Yeah. 
Okay, new terms of regional folklore, new items that can be used for ethereal reduction. Uh, we are just skipping. Uh, Desynthesis yeah, yeah. level is now 710. Enjoy yeah, that. Yeah. I'm uh, not even mm -hmm. there. After checking the desynthesized entire stack box in the desynthesis window, this option will remain checked even after desynthesizing oh, the stack box. Ooh, okay. so there you go. That's a good quality of life mm -hmm. change. New mounts, new minions. Where do I get him? Oh, I've got the cat. Oh! Where do I get him? Oh, you get him oh. from the first dungeon. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the only reason I, why I know. I just got it actually. You, the first oh, one. You know what I like about this is that like they're trying to pretend that you can have minions underwater by having you yeah. in um, oh. uh, Suinosato. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> or Tamamizu, sorry. Uh, new chocobo barding. Uh, I've seen that. someone with this. Where do you get it? This looks incredible. I think it's just from the hunt again. Yeah, careful, Same as the careful, yeah, yeah, careful what you say it's about nuts. where things drop, by the way, just in case. Mm, yeah. no, that one's just nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think that's fun. It is nuts, I agree. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Uh, new fashion accessories, I love umbrella. That. I I love that. Uh, okay, and then system. Graphical update. There's so much to talk about. We've already talked about it all, so um, just... <gasps> yeah, yeah. Look at it though. Look at the pictures. I oh, mean, yeah, I will say, like, wow, <sighs> wow. Now this is this is a big. I mean, it's the second picture I I have a bit of a problem with, but this looks incredible. Like the update here is good. Like this is yeah, Realm Reborn. Some... This is now. The little like glitters in like the metal textures and. Uh, I was going I don't yeah. want to go, in, but it's so nice looking. I was, but there is one thing, I so. I, I said that this it, it's wet. Yeah, th a lot of the textures look wet. There's a lot of mm, like I think they're supposed yeah. to look shiny, but they look wet. I wonder if I that's when it rains, intentional. There's like the when the when the floor's wet and you pause the camera, there's lots of very small white pixels to make it look crisp. Mm. And then if you move the camera, they disappear. And yeah, then that when you might stop be... the camera, they appear again. That might be a problem issue with DLSS, actually. Could I'm be, pretty so sure. It might be. Um, I think if you try updating it from 3.5 to 3.7 or 6, um, you don't have that issue. Okay, I'll, I'll double check. I, I feel as if my character's lips look like they're constantly got like lip balm on them. Now. Oh, you've been I'm, licking your lips. Yeah, I've been noticing mm. that too. Mm. Like, there's yeah. lips are definitely, they have been updated, but Yoshi P said he wanted to make them more attractive, didn't he? Yeah. Said <laughs> no ugly that. lips here. No mm. ugly lips uh, in his game. So, um, this is a, a, a baffling picture because I have no idea what I'm really looking at, but I think this is... Uh, is it a high tent or something in there? Yes, yeah, some kind of, maybe one of the Alamegan, like, tents from the... Yeah. Yeah. I, guess. I mean, the texture update on this is insane. Yeah, this is, this is... You can see, like, the actual, like, pattern of the stitching. Yeah. 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 Uh, the number of light sources used for shadows, we've noticed that, and then a grass and all this stuff. We've talked about it already. It's all very good. Um, this is, I mean, the appearance uh, of hair on player characters, um, subtle hair movements. I've noticed that, that a lot. That. Mm -hmm. uh, th that's definitely working. So, and fog. Looks the great if you the new similar. one, the new hairstyle with the um, the little Helge things. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's cool how they're doing. Mm. I like that a lot. The lenses yeah. in glasses is something that I've really appreciated. Oh, yes. That's true. Mm -hmm. that, you see that a lot as well. Yeah. Glass looks really good now. Yeah. But uh, the metal, my God. The metal. It's well, metal. yeah, the, <laughs> the uh, throne, which is, you know, that's something we've seen in yeah. the trailers and stuff. But when it's like, you see the throne, it's got just, it's just such nice gold. Such, yes. I call like just really crisp gold. I saw oh. um, someone had or has already done a comparison between um, some cutscenes from A Realm Reborn before and after the graphical update specifically this is the video i saw was with um the end of a realm reborn uh you know the the cut scene with uh raubon get losing his arm oh yeah um it's crazy the difference in everything but there is something i have to note there there so some people can like we're like mm, things look a little off and that's obviously because first of all lighting is completely changed in the cutscenes like everything yeah. you can really see the fucking mud filter that we used to have where everything's like slightly the contrast is just s s turned down so far but now it's like more crisp there are more light sources in the room the gold in the that chamber the royal chamber just like pops oh. but you can tell because 
when they made the cutscenes for A Realm Reborn, they made them with the limitations of the oh, engine 100%. in mind. So there are certain mm -hmm. things that are kind of lost. I especially noticed the second part of it is the um, um, the uh, oh god, um, uh, Sloppe, uh, Ilbert, uh, in um, uh, oh, when uh, Papa Limo dies. That scene Spoilers. before he well, <laughs> we're talking about Dawn Trail. You should have done fucking Heaven Sword by now. Uh, he he's um, Alphino is like supposed to be like upset, and in the yeah. A Realm Reborn one, his eyebrows are clearly like this, but in the updated model, they are very mild. So he doesn't um, like really show his like. So I wonder if they're okay. gonna go back and adjust them or whatever. Oh, but that's that's a shame. It's probably because of the character model I mean, is like they've added uh -huh, polygons change. to the face yeah. and stuff, so it might not. I mean, it's got new balls. Talk... Yeah, from what uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, people have uh, looked at. It. There's yes. a lot more changing. I mean, mate, like you're talking about spoilers. How do you think the people? We didn't talk about this. How do you think the people in LA that see the giant fucking picture of Grahatia staring down at them, who've only just cleared a realm reborn, feel? That's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's true. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So uh, again, uh, the character creator has changed as well. This is this yeah. is all from the benchmark. So we we've covered that. Yeah. We don't need to talk yeah, about it. This. When using Fantasia the aesthetician, the display of headgear and face work can now be toggled on or off. Didn't know that that that's was useful. that's good because yeah. you can't actually tell how they feel until you come back into the right. game. And you're like, eh, it doesn't work with my glasses. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Fantasia changes that we've also covered before. Uh, mm -hmm. New market board has been added to Tilda totally level. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess they have this to do this every time. System update, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Reduced Great. tax Love rates it. for Tulliolol, so there you go. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. I thought they stopped doing the tax rate thing, but I guess... No, they still do, back. don't, don't you worry. They still do. I, or, I don't know. They did I something. Know. Real I remember. gamers I change their um, retainers to different tax havens every day. But what... <laughs> What did they change with the tax system on yeah, the market board? I, they, they I could have sworn they were like, oh, yeah, we just made the tax thing the same for well, every right. area from now on then. But then they're still doing the bonus. I thought that I don't, I don't know. Maybe they, it's just to they, encourage you to move your assets. We have covered this before, but I, I unfortunately. This is a long time ago. It was like yeah. early end Walker, I think. Yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah. Even, yeah. Um, Shadowbringers. Yeah. Uh, the following... Oh, that's. Yes. No, chat, uh, chat is correct. It, the, the way it used to work was that if you bought something in the city state it's being sold, you didn't have to pay taxes. Uh, but if yeah. you bought it somewhere else, you uh, did have to pay taxes, but okay. they made it so that it applies to everywhere. Oh, so you can't just, like, was. avoid taxes by teleporting somewhere else. No yeah. tax fraud is not okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, the following additions and adjustments have been made to retainers. They can now be registered to Tulliolal. You can That's create cool. female Rothgar, oh. level cap 100. They can be Viper and Pictomancer jobs. Uh, new retain adventures and new items for quick exploration ventures. New achievements and titles. Elite marks will now be displayed in the recommendations list. The guild cost for using teleport has been adjusted. With the new addition of new areas, the world map has been updated, of course. Uh, I haven't actually looked at it yet in the map screen itself. I'm assuming oh, it's the, yeah, yeah. the new... Yeah, uh, I would assume so too. The following adjustments... Can I been... say... Yeah. Uh, in the cutscene where they showed the us traveling across the uh this is the bounty careful yeah no no it's just the picture of the map yeah that's like showing us moving yeah mm -hmm. that still looked very local <laughs> yeah. yes i was oh, yeah. i even the map in the uh, the, uh, the oh. room at uh yeah. charlian is I'm uh tensing up finger on the uh, <laughs> hovering on the mute button the, the one from 6.5 yeah uh, it's still the same it, one from it 6. still 5. looks shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah they haven't updated that uh, on the map for Limsa Laminsa Lower Decks, the position of the red arrows indicating area boundaries oh, have been adjusted. Finally! Really? Oh, I've been complaining about this since I started playing the game with the adjustments of the red arrows in Limsa Laminsa Lower Decks. Shut up, me. Thank no, God that they finally right. addressed my is this, feedback. Is this a sign that they're about to, like, unify uh, up oh, yeah, and lower? Is, yeah. Oh, is yeah. Is this it? Uh, all maps this is the uh, smooth rocks of this expansion. <laughs> All maps will now display at high resolution quality. Uh, <laughs> Technically. Uh, the Just the ones when you press the M button. <laughs> yes. The following additions have been made to player search menu. Viper and Pictomancer 7.0 areas have been added under custom. When editing search, when editing search info, the size of the online status pull-down menu has been increased. Okay. okay. Cool. 
The following adjustments have been made to target information. When a target's... I noticed this. They yeah, show decimals. That's all it, yeah, I thought it had changed. Because I, wasn't the, sure if I it was trying to figure this out. I was like, why does yeah. it feel yeah. different? Yeah, I was yeah. like, what the fuck? Was this always the case? But yeah, no. I couldn't remember. It used all. to only show decimals when it went below when it was 1%. Below, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There. I was so, in this game now things like that of like oh this is always look like yeah. that like what's going yeah. on yeah so yeah when a target's remaining hp is set to be displayed as a percentage decimal values will now always be shown useful yeah and saying that isn't on by default still the yes. percentage you just yeah vibes some, some, vibe. some, some, health vibe. some people just vibe yeah um, i guess so that much health left uh, maybe like 80 <laughs> yeah 90 yeah, 90%? yeah. When a setting display only detrimental effects you inflict is enabled, it will only be applied to enemy targets. Following this change, the name of this setting has been adjusted to display only detrimental effects you inflict on target. So okay. That's very good. Okay, we've talked about this before, but this is the action change uh, settings. Mm. Uh, we don't need to talk about this because we've covered it uh, extensively. The following additions and adjustments have been made to job gauges. Gauges for certain jobs have been added or adjusted. The job gauge de details window has been updated to reflect these changes. The display of job gauges can now be displayed via the HUD layout menu. And the parameters for using the text command slash job HUD mode has been adjusted according to the order in which job HUD elements are unlocked. Okay. Cool. A glamour guide has been added to the following windows explaining the usage of various fashion-related features mm. such as dyes and glamours. Uh, for Europe. Yeah, Thank the guide you. can be accessed at any time via the question mark icon in each window. Item dyeing, cast glamour, glamour dresser, glamour plates, armoire, and face wear. Descriptions in the help menu of the emotes window has been adjusted. Cool, that's also mysterious. When viewing a repair request, the item details will now include information pertaining to dyes and affixed material. Sure, I guess I need to know that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just fixing things, dude. Do I need to know this? But all right. When viewing items attached to a MOG letter, the item details will now include information pertaining to dyes and oh. affixed materia. So, that's nice. Yeah. The requirement, than, uh... the requirement to keep new adventure status has been adjusted. It's, it's the same as always. You, they, it's just instead of having finished death, uh, not completed death until dawn, it's now the coming dawn. Oh. Uh, the bonus to experience points earned when a mentor for a mentor forms a party with a new adventurer or returner will now apply until level ninety. Mm -hmm. Again, as expected, in accordance with in accordance with the increased level cap, the requirements for new mentors have been adjusted as follows. Again, disciples. And we're not reading this. No, no, no. Disciples no, of more magic. Uh, no disciples more mentors. Of land. You will just have to reach level one hundred. That's it. Um, that's what's changed. If you want to be a mentor, have fun. A log message will now be displayed when newly created characters on new or preferred worlds meet the requirements to receive a gill bonus. Oh. So, there you go. Hmm. Uh, they've added new accents to adventurer plates. And the color of lettering ones? on the base plate for the 12-fold Blessings Framers Kit has been changed to black. I assume it was hard to read. Yeah. I like this frame. I like this person's adventurer plate. They've just got in the auto translator, let's do it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's do I don't know you like that. Um, FC, FFXIV. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, the following additions have just been made to portraits. So new accents have been added. Cute. Uh, new yeah. poses. Looks nice. Yeah. When viewing the edit portrait interface, new filters are available for background Ooh, frame. Oh, that's right. actually really good. Yeah. When hiding the display of headgear, this setting will apply to instant portraits even after changing headgear. What? What? Uh, n just please make it so that it's not so mysterious just when it resets. Just make it an yeah. image. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the rules of the dice. Until you, click time. you either don't know until you show it, or you have to know what's happening. Yes, exactly. They've added new stickers, and the patch logo frame has been updated with the patch 7.0 logo. Oh, Pog? Yeah, Pog, dude. When using monitors with a resolution wider than 16 by 9, screenshots taken from certain cutscenes or with certain frames in group posts will have copyright information placed within the bounds of the 16 oh, by 9 gosh. resolution. Well, I think the idea here is that if you had a massive widescreen monitor, you could have the copyright information in entirely within the black part of it, so you could cut it out. Yes. So, ah, useful. Uh, also, the copyright information has been changed. Now, it no longer <laughs> says that long piece that they've always had. It now just says copyright square annex. Um, I like that because you could date screenshots. Yeah, that's mm. true. That's true. 
Um, duties that have been okay. The duty recorder, the same shit as always. The Leia is yeah. now in the uh, mysterious trials. Duty yeah. recorder. Uh, the log message that displays when a congested area is inaccessible has been adjusted. We haven't talked about this, but when we talked about the uh, instanced areas last episode, mm. we read um, uh, like it would. We were reading about how that system worked, and it said like area one, two, one, it's three, two th and so on. And we're like, sure, mm. surely that's it. It's always three. No, no, no. It's six now. We have. Mm -hmm. we've that's insane. Good. The hunt trains. Will go crazy. Yes. You will be oh, there yeah. for I'm so hours. excited about the hunt trains. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be oh. crazy. Um, the, a button to temporarily hide display of the chat log has been added. I haven't seen that button. Where? That, I still just right click and hide. But Yeah. That's that, really good if you're ever in a cutscene and, and it pops up. Yes. Yes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> remember alarms? The following changes have been made to alarms. Uh, I care oh, so God. little about the system, but uh, we're. I'm just. This is mostly for for, for gatherers. I, I'm just yeah. padding I just... because I know we're not doing the post show, so I'm just filling out uh, airtime now. The maximum number of alarms <laughs> that can be set have been increased from ten to thirty. What a thirty! Yeah, I just oh. feel like the you know websites. <laughs> do it Shut a lot up, Mayla. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna set up you thirty. Just, was, you sound so before. sarcastic. It was 10 before, but it's 30 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30. So you can keep track of 30 things. No, number go up. 30 nodes. Yeah, that is stored in your document because folder I used to, on your computer. Yeah, and doesn't hold... It, it resets when you log out, so you have to set I mean, them up I'm going to say this... I'm going to say this. Don't slow down too much. We've still got actually a decent amount of stuff to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just this is a very strange system that has gotten a lot of updates. Uh, oh, yeah. Of which have made Love it that. very good. I'm a big, big The character alarm limit for fan. alarm names has been increased from 10 to 20. The layout of Finally. the alarm editor interface has changed. Simplified alarm settings are now displayed by default. Additional options are available after selecting the down arrow for advanced settings. Mm. Sound options are now available for alarms, and alarm sounds can now be <laughs> muted while undertaking duties. Oh, okay, good alarm update. To all the I alarm think. fans out there, congratulations, you got updates. Congrats, alarmists. Yeah. Uh, blacklist updates, we're going to skip through because we've covered again we talked about all of them, this. But they are before. good. They are very good. Uh, as well as the mute list, we'll skip that as well. Um, this uh, also the term filter we have covered as well quite extensively. But it shows one interesting um, thing though. Okay, which one? It's limited to ten words. Oh, yeah, make them count. Make, make them count. count. Club, FC, DJ. Oh yeah, there we DJ. go. Yeah, only ten. Huh? Interesting. That's... It's a ridiculously low number of words to rem FC. I think is too like because that will affect people that are talking to you in chat as well. Yeah, I think that's you just. Good thing. I, th <laughs> I find okay. it hello. Recruiting, recruiting. Oh yeah, yeah, good one. Stuff like that. Yeah. ERP. Salut. Uh... Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely worth it. Uh, yeah, so a term filter settings are saved locally. So when playing on a different platform, words you wish to be filtered must be registered anew, which is the same thing as for the alarms, by the way. So keep that yeah, in mind. Yeah, so alarmists and termers. <laughs> termers are new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Termers are new. Uh, in order to reduce server congestion upon the release of patch 7.0, the following measures will be implemented temporarily. Use of the day, uh, we will continue to monitor server activity and remove these features when server congestion is determined to no longer I mean, be an issue. Which They've seems to already it. mostly be the case on Chaos. Um, the but, first one, yeah, yes. Yeah. Use of the data center travel system, world visit system, goodness me, uh, will be restricted for certain worlds and data centers. Um, players who are inactive for 30 minutes will be logged out automatically. Be careful. And new areas That's will be split up. into multiple instances. So those two are uh -huh. still obviously in place. Um, players can now use the mouse to drag and drop actions onto or off of the W cross hotbar. That's that cool. The w cross hotbar. That's the, uh, the cross controller hotbar. one, isn't the cross, it? Yeah. Oh, it's just the cross. Uh, what's the W stand for? Wicked. Wicked, uh, dude. Uh, maybe the expanded one? So, I don't no, because I know what the cross hotbar is. It's the well, W I'm w confused about. I don't know, man. I will say <laughs> is it, it is. Hotbar, it was maybe? very annoying that you could not drag skills onto it like a normal hotbar. Uh, when I attempted to use controller a couple times, uh, sounds you infuriating. You have to go to the abilities menu to. Just, mm. It's very yeah. dumb. Okay. I think this is a good change. Um, 
gradation uh, of the main menu background <laughs> in gamepad mode has been adjusted to improve Finally. visibility. <laughs> Mate's nice. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> lion. But Rollo, I, I was telling you last week that the, the gradation was too strong and I couldn't read the game. Yeah, pull up that clip right now. Play it. Yeah, black Play and white moment. The DualSense uh, Edge wireless controller can now be used on Windows. Registered trademark. Uh, DualSense uh. trademark wireless controllers and DualSense Edge trademark wireless controllers can now be used via Bluetooth on Windows. Registered. Haptic Sorry, feedback. Sorry, what's the difference between the two things then? Uh, registered means uh, it's. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, when connected to a 120 hertz monitor, the maximum frame rate for PlayStation re uh, registered 5 and Xbox Series XS not registered, so you can steal that, is now 120 <laughs> frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> I own Xbox. Yeah, there you go. You can do that. Um, I own Xbox Series X. Yeah. That's mine. Um, please note, this is only a change to maximum frame rate. This setting will not ensure your system runs at a steady <laughs> frame rate. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. The system might still be shit. We can't guarantee you on that. I love that. Uh, when playing on the PlayStation Registered 5 or Xbox Series XS free to steal, trophies and achievements can be obtained or unlocked if their requirements have been fulfilled while playing on other platforms. When playing on the mm. PlayStation Registered 5 or Xbox Series XS free to steal, achievement data will now be updated upon uh, sorry, will be updated upon opening the achievements window. There may be a delay in receiving notifications mm. of er of earned or unlocked achievements. Oh, that's oh, cool. I actually oh, like that. Because before, like, when you, if you got one of the crafting achievements, like, you'd have to craft an additional thing for it to register. Yeah, so yeah. that's convenient that it just opening the achievement menu matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the change, but it's still awkward that they've got this weird extra step in the achievements because of the trophies. Yeah. Um, when playing on the PlayStation Registered 5, a system message will now be displayed indicating when players load the PlayStation Registered 4 version of the game. <laughs> Wrong version, Bozo. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's convenient. Huh. Okay, the following options have been added, uh, added to the character configuration menu. So there's a general tab, quest progression settings, hide nearby players. This is all the shit we've talked about. It's just the Please settings. Please turn it on. Save yeah. your life. Turn it on it's and so it'll, it'll change the game. Um, yeah, also I like these uh, the new uh, supplementary explanations mm. of uh, graphical options. I like Man, this too, talking. especially as a, someone who's very stupid when it comes to this. <laughs> you tell me you don't know what tessellation means? What, what the, the hell? Fuck? Uh, okay, I know what tessellation, tessellation is. Tessellation is probably, yeah. Uh, the following additions and adjustments uh, have been made to the system configuration menu, Windows registered. Uh, literally, we only talking about this last week. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we don't need to talk uh, no, about No, genuinely, though, about FPS, because the game currently has full FPS half and quarter. Yeah. So depending on what your refresh rate of your monitor was, it would just randomly so it'd be like 72 yeah. It's the half. Yeah. So Ooh. if you wanted to cap at 60, you either use GeForce or like do it at half, but it... it Plays weirdly also at half. Yeah. Finally, they've added a cap at just 60. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so good. I hope this will stop the weird like flashing that I've had when I've been streaming oh, yeah. because mm. my computer oh, struggles yes. with how it wants to run at 144 hertz so bad, but you can't do mm -hmm. that when you're streaming. So uh, my, my graphics card just glitches out. Um, okay. Uh, we'll FSR and this. DLSS. This is all the it's We're getting the modern one. technology. Yeah. Uh, the following additions and adjustments have been made to the system configuration interface. Okay. Limit These are also graphic details. This is all graphical yeah, yeah, yeah. updates. These following are the, then it's the new text commands. Text commands. commands. We don't need to go through all of this. Um, oh, God. That's uh, quite a lot. Uh, additions to the auto translation dictionary. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, finally. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Right here. Sound effects will now play when touching certain plants. <laughs> What? Very important. I I only say this because for some reason Sokin like tweeted about this. Yeah, he did. He so was, <laughs> does this mean like interacting with it or just touching it? Like your I, just, I, I assume walking the through it. Sound. Oh, funny. I see. Okay. Okay. Find all the plants that make sounds. So can. Sokin does actually really like talking about the sound production side of his job. It's just the part that think people find, un unfortunately for him, uh, people find less interesting. Mm. Talk to us about the Foley, mister. Sound design is I very, quite, very Sound design is fun. Yeah. Mm. Uh, layout of the game launcher. It's less sexy than music production. That's though. true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, the layout More of the game. More interesting to me, though. 
the layout of the game launcher has been changed. Uh, the title screen logo and opening movie has been changed to those of Dawn Trail. Yeah, I've seen that. The following yep, additions yep. and adjustments have been made to the title screen. So the title screen has changed. Options and license it have has. been added mm. to the title screen. Configuration has been renamed system configuration and can now be found under options at the title screen. Uh, mm -hmm. Installation details has been added within options, displaying information on previous installations. The game version displayed at the top left of the title screen now only includes the base package and most recent expansion. Uh. Uh, and a notification will now be displayed when a player is logged out due to inactivity during periods of congestion. That's oh, cool. that's cool. Yeah. I haven't had that, so... You I, have, I have had it once, yeah, so... It just says you've been logged out due to inactivity. Yeah, when you were kidnapped by that old man. That's right, <laughs> that's right. The display of certain world names has been changed in the world selection window. World names will no longer include a region label, regardless of game client language settings. Okay. Yeah. A region label? Did they used to say... Yeah, J-E-D-F, whatever, right? Oh, or not? I don't know. I don't oh, know. I, I don't know, actually. Did it, did, did, like, did, was it like Chaos EU? Oh, sorry. Or, oh, I don't sorry, know, not. actually. No, I don't know. No, they didn't usually do that. I don't know what that I means. A region label. Oh, well, it's gone now, yeah. so it doesn't matter. It's gone, so if you, if you knew what it was, peace. Rest don't in peace, worry about it. No. Whatever you, however, whatever that was. After registering uh, to use the World Visit system, accessing an Etherite and selecting Visit Another World sa Server will display your pending registration. Useful, I guess. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Uh, retain oh, Retainer Ventures can now be assigned via the Companion app. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, asterisk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Players must log out of uh, in their home world to assign Ventures or retrieve items via the Companion app. This feature will be available starting Friday, June 28th at 4 a.m. So it's 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 available. Um, You're nuts. Yeah, you need, you need nuts. Uh, you get two per day. Maximum of two. No, one a day. Oh, no, one a day. Right, one Choose a day. Choose the cap. Yeah. Uh, Viper and Pictomancer has been added to the solo rankings for Palace of the Dead, Heaven on High, and Eureka Orth. Oh my god, you can be the first level 100, floor of 200 Viper or Pictomancer player in the whole world. Yeah. Get on it, Good guys. luck to whoever does that. Also, a long list of resolved issues, but known issues is the most important one. Oh, yeah. What's oh, going on oh my. It's issues? almost just, it's about as long as uh, resolved issues. So <laughs> they resolved a lot of issues, but then they just created. I mean, the resolved issues would have all been with the previous expansions. This is a whole new expansion they've dropped on us, so there's yeah. going to be a lot of issues that they know about but haven't been able to fix I'm not going to read these. I will say the companion no. has been updated quite a lot. Yes, yeah. apparently it's quite, it nice, quite nice to look now. at now. Yeah. 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 It's quite nice. Yeah. The companion app? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there's been a massive... Big update, update on the to, UI. To it. I checked it the other day. Or the other day being yesterday? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, I'm, oh god, you made me check the companion app now. I opened the code yeah. <laughs> instead, which, uh... It tells me when I last looked at the game. Hey, hey viewers, did you know about the companion app at all? Cause right. boy, a lot of people recently learned about its existence. Yeah. It's, uh, it's about as good as I always thought it would be. Uh, and I, I remember it to be. It still shows Endwalker <laughs> on my splash screen. Oh yeah, same. Mm. But then it'll ask you to download an update if you haven't already. Oh, I thought I already had. Oh. oh no, here we go. Sorry, I'm just gonna download this, dude. I'm pretty sure I just downloaded this, so maybe I watched it, saw it on Twitter, a picture of it. Sorry, I'm just reading through some of the known issues. I think this one's my favorite so far. An issue with certain graphics cards, where insert setting graphics to maximum or high desktop caused the night sky oh, to shit. flicker. I got it. Oh. oh. Wait, got it. Night sky to flicker. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. That sounds like a problem I have had. Oh. Night sky. It's one of the last ones. Yeah. Oh my god. So they've. That's. That's wait, a you're on issue high now. On max I'm on maximum. Oh. And usually it starts custom. to flicker when it's like either raining or when it's. Oh. Nighttime. So maybe okay, they're maybe they're on it. Maybe maybe this will. Well, be I'm result. glad that I pointed out something that yeah, they, you think is an issue that's actually out there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, there we go. Uh, that's the patch notes um, for Dawn, Dawn Trail. Trail. Uh, you can of course read the full uh, patch notes yourself on the uh, Lodestone. Uh, links in the description if you're watching the YouTube video. Um, and there you go. Uh, next week we. 
I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Um, we <laughs> no. We might go into impressions round two. It'll be impressions round two probably, but more maybe. Well, what do, more why do we do? I think we might the um the first trial. trial. Sorry, what? Wait, sorry, what did you say, Rola? So why don't we do up to the media tour stuff uh, for, yeah, as in was, the first dungeon? Because oh, that's a lot. What a lot. I, it's already been shown, so that'd be easy. I to... think it would be either the first dungeon or the trial. Yeah. We'll see. Next week is still mm. within. So where like... is the rule about the the, the yeah. you know not talking about it until the two weeks? We could. Mm. There's, That's true. We'll 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 we have handle to be it careful. like a normal speakers of Highland episode. We'll figure it out. We'll we'll see what we will do. Yeah, there we, might be news over the week. Um, there might be some mm -hmm. mogmails we can talk about that aren't spoilery. Yeah, we still have some leftover uh, mogmail and stuff. Don't worry. I don't, It'll probably be a normal sized episode. I'm pretty sure next week will also. We'll, no, I'm saying it right now. Next week will also be a spoiler free episode, just okay. because we I think we'll it's need to thing, just the in case. embargo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, that's all for today, folks. We will be back uh, next week, then. Uh, same time, same place. Remember to follow on Twitter at speakersxv, twitch.tv slash speakersxv, and youtube.com slash speakersxv, exclamation desc discord? Discord in chat if you want to join our Discord server. Did I say twitch.tv slash speakersxv? I think I did it again. Yes. Twitch.tv slash speakersxiv, uh, and then the Discord shit. <laughs> okay. I, I fucked up the whole <laughs> end thing. <laughs> wow. Well, just, uh, there is no, uh, there is no post show, obviously, because we, uh, I realized when we, we got stuck on like almost every point. I'm like, mm. I can't get us, and I, it, it, I couldn't even get us past the point. I was like, <laughs> let's move on. No. Well, after a certain point, it we had a lot of thoughts on a anyway. lot of very we, fringe things, as usual. We so. love yapping here. That's why you we guys watch. Yapping. Welcome. Yeah. The yappers of Heidelin. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back next week. We'll see Remember, you yeah. all our streams during this week will be 14. That's right. Mm -hmm. Every stream slot and make will be sure 14. To, and make sure to watch us from July 2nd onwards for the... Oh no! You, I can't I, say it I've without saying the you. word. No, I I can't say it without saying the word. Oh, the yeah, well, Chocor. 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 It's much harder when you can't say the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't know where the C or the K is. It's kind of Chocor. Yeah, Chocor. Okay. Chocor. Chocor. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll see you uh, then. Uh, also remember that our streams will be spoiler-free until we have done our spoiler cast. That also applies to our Discord server. So th until yeah. we've had a spoiler cast, no spoilers anywhere. So you're safe with us. All right, see you later, everyone. Take care. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.